Let me. Hey, what happened? What happened? <laughs> hey, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, talk to me. What happened? Come here, what happened? You know, I told you I was feeling dizzy before you left for work. <laughs> yes, and I told you to go to the hospital and then do a test. And I did. But I did go to the hospital, but the, the test results fault my day. <laughs> what? Talk to me. What 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 happened? What, what, what did the results say? Even though I don't believe it, even if it's true, <laughs> I'm not going to have it. I won't. Baby, come on. You you're not going to have what? What are you talking about? The test result says I'm pregnant. <laughs> Barely six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant. <laughs> Whoa, pregnant. What are you talking about? I mean, we, we, we're blessed. I mean, we, we are so lucky. Six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant already? Honey, we are so blessed. No, I know you have your own opinion, but I don't care about this. I'm, I'm not going to have this baby. I'm going to abort it. I can't have this child. Hey, hey, hey. Why? <laughs> Why do you want to abort the child? I, I, I don't want to be out of place on my celebrity lifestyle. Look, 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 come on, listen to me. I don't understand the drift. Why the change? What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What do you mean you don't understand me? Baby, do you know what it took me to be where I am today? Do you know? Hey. Hey. Now you listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care what it took you to get to where you are today. But let nothing, nothing happen to my child. Okay? I can and I will. Hey, 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 hey. Just leave me alone. You don't care about my career. You don't care about anything. You don't even care if I don't have this child. Just leave me. Hey, 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 Having an abortion is even really more dangerous than having the child itself. No. No, having an abortion is more dangerous. You don't care. Just leave me alone. Hey, hey, you I... don't even care if I lose my body, if I lose my shape, my curves. You want me body? to lose my walk? Your body? <laughs> That's why you want to kill our child? Because of your body? If anything happens to our child, consider this marriage. Over. Yes. I mean it. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm the best beauty, beautiful baby. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care what people say. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you see me at the shine at the hot like a fire. I don't care. I'm a celebrity for eBay. I don't care if you see me at the shine at the hot like a fire. I don't care. I'm a celebrity for eBay. I don't care if you see me at the shine at the hot like. Leave! Let me tell you, I give you two weeks, just two weeks, you are going to come back to this house begging me. Anita, I would rather die of hunger than to come back to you. You! Come back to you! Then Useless you woman like you! You will obviously die. You're going to die. Because there's no love in this marriage. We are not even compatible. That's why I you don't ended even know it why we're doing That's why you ended it. Marriage of, of, of barely two months. See what you've done. See what you've done. You can leave my house for all I care. Because you were born in poverty and you are going to die in poverty. Back to sender. 
back to Senate. Back to Senate. Why am I even wasting time talking to you? You are going to die in poverty. Rubbish. See, see, you useless actress. Man. Career. Which career do you have? Useless woman. Be, be, sleeping around with, with different men. Is that a career? Useless woman. Bragging about career. You are one of those who spoiling all the actresses' name. Sleeping around. Sorry. Useless. Sorry. Be a man. Take a heart. Sir, take a heart. Forgive her. Sorry, Look. sir. Charles, sir, I will be moving to the village. But this useless woman is carrying my child. She's pregnant with my child. What I want you to do for me is to call me. When she put to bed, just call me. Give me a call. I, sir, definitely I will call you. Just that, I, I just, just forgive her. Forgive who? Don't, 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 don't even say that. Forgive who? Don't you know what she did? I don't do. you know what she did? Very Why are you not there? Very bad. Very she's bad. she's very useless. Forgive her for you. Do you want to kill to, to kill me? Yes, sir. So I just have one thing important to say. Just one thing important. What sir. is it again? For the sake of the unborn baby, sir. Let bygone be bygone. Never! Never! What she did was like a slap on my face. Like a, like a slap on my face. You're right. Even was like a blow. You are right, sir. Sorry, sir. Just call me. Call me. I will call you, sir. Imagine. You have the God to shout. You have the God to shout. What is that, Anita Self? Imagine. Okay, I said what I said. Let it not be as if I kept quiet. If I were you, I would do the same thing you did. I cannot even forgive her. It was not like a slap. It was like a blow. Imagine, in front of a man, you brought in another man. In fact, okay, you're a nice man, though. By now, I'll set this house ablaze. I'll burn, burn this car. I hope she's not hearing my voice. Even if you hear my voice, say, what will you do? I guess I lose this job. Imagine. Bye-bye. I'll call you. Anita, how could you? Are you insane? How could you bring another man into your matrimonial home? How? Someone somewhere did exactly what I did and nothing happened. Okay. What exactly is your drift? Mom, see, Daniel does not love me. <laughs> he married me because of my money, and when he felt he had saved so much money, he left. He's my God that will punish him. And you lie. Daniel left because he caught you with another man. Uh, yes, he caught me with another man, and I apologized. We all make mistakes. He should have just forgiven me after all to air his human and to forgive his divine. Just listen to yourself. It's so easy for you to say to air is divine. Anita, do you know what you've done? Eh? This is a case of infidelity. And you're talking about forgive is divine, air is human. Mom, whatever it is. A broken marriage is better than living in illusion. I and Daniel are not compatible in any way. The two months I spent with him was like living in hell. How? Mom, when Daniel was here, I didn't even have time for my career. It's even good he even left. At least now I can abort this child and focus more on my career. Did I hear you right? Try it. No, try it. Mom, I watch me disown you. Wait, Mom, you expect me to give birth to this child. Who is going to be the father? <sighs> Mom, this, this is not about my career. This stupid man who impregnated me is nowhere to be found. 
don't need this baby for crying out loud. I don't. Daniel is coming back soon. No. This marriage is done and dusted. I don't need him again. I have I've heard such from your kind. Ironically, before I could say Jack Robinson, the couple reconciled and had seven children. Mm -mm. No, it's not for me, Anita. I hate marriage with passion. Before the day runs out, I'm going to flush out this baby. Okay. Let me ask you a question. If I had aborted you when you were conceived, would you have become a celebrity today? He's coming. He's coming. This man is a good man. I know him very well. Very nice man. It's we. It's us. It's us. We are the one. Hey. My in-law. You woke up. I mean, I'm you. okay. Thank you. You didn't tell me you were coming to see me. I'm sorry about that. Charles. Uh, Good morning, sir. Good morning. What is it about uh, my, my in-law? What is it? I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Okay, because if it's about Anita and our marriage, the marriage is over. I, I, I don't want any more. That's fine. But can we at least come in? Please. Okay, Ma, you, you can come inside. Thank you. Charles, come inside. Okay. Please, let's go in. It's money, everything in marriage, Uncle. It's money, everything in marriage. Yes, of course. No, no, I do not agree. I do not agree. Earlier today, Mrs. Deborah came here with her daughter, Anita, coming to beg me to, to come back to Anita. But I refused. You are the head of the family. She should come and live with you here in the village. No, no, no. Anita, with everything she's done, no. I, I, I have lost every ounce of respect I had for her. Every, every little respect I had for her with what she did. She can go to hell with her money for I care. I do not care. The truth is, Aneta went too far. She shouldn't have brought a man into her matrimonial home. <laughs> Anita. Anita thinks she has money. She can do anything she wants and get away with it. But I have proved her wrong. Hey, not with me. It's not going to happen with me. Not just her. You also proved me wrong. <laughs> she didn't do well at all until she understands that what she did is wrong. <laughs> she can never be ashamed of herself. <laughs> Let's leave that. That's the story for another day. <laughs> because she will not understand. But the time is coming that she will finally understand. So tell me, how was the journey to the village? It was simply a waste of well and time. Why? How? As in, you didn't meet him at home? Sophia, he was at home. But I felt humiliated by his blunt refusal to accept my apology and even reconciliation. Hmm, <laughs> wait. What is wrong with Daniel? Has he forgotten how you picked him from Gotha? I mean, picked him from Gotha and gave his life a true meaning. What is his own? Hmm. Anyway, I, I don't have to tell you now. Of course, he is going to regret it. Sure. Of course. He will surely regret it. Of course. He's already regretting it. Oh. Imagine me, Anita of all people, okay. a whole celebrity like me, stood so low with my mother to go and beg this guy. And he refused. 
Ha! Hmm. I've never been that humiliated. Forget to. This is serious. Aneta, if I were you, I would get rid of this baby and move on with my life. My dear, my mom is of the opinion that I should keep it. Keep it? As in, keep it for who? Keep it for an ingrate who cannot forgive you for just common mistake. Eh? <sighs> you can't. You sound as if you don't know my mom. I've tried all I can to convince her, but she still refuses. Don't give up, baby. Keep trying. Of course, you have to convince her so that you get rid of that baby. Yes! How can you have your life with... You can't. Remove it so that you can move on. You need to remain the way you are. You're a celebrity. Don't forget that. I just wish my mom understands and we can be on the same page. I just wish. Talk to her the more. Uncle, I will definitely get married again. But first thing first, I want to go into farming. Mm. That's what my heart is leading me to do. That's good, that's good. Uh, you know, uh, farmers make a lot of money these days. Yes, not only in this country, in Europe too, everywhere. Farming is making a lot of money. Farming, the whole world now knows that uh, uh, farming is a very lucrative business. Mm. So everybody wants to go into farming. And like we say, uh, money answered all things. Yes. So I want to have money first. I want to make money before I can get married. So I don't want to repeat what happened with Anita. Yes. I don't want to repeat the past. You're right. You're right. Uh, but <laughs> frankly speaking, I thought you were living in your own house with Anita. No. Ah, uncle. <laughs> the houses, the cars, the supermarkets, everything, every, every investment we've had, we've enjoyed, they all belong to Anita. Thanks to her late father who willed everything to her. She didn't have to work for anything. Wow. No wonder. No wonder she has not been submissive to you, her husband. Not at all. Anita is a very stubborn person. She's always been stubborn. If I was not patient enough to endure a lot of things from Anita, the marriage would have ended even a few days after we got married. Would have ended. Any other person uh, would, would have worked out. Mm. I've been patient. I tried. Hey! Bah, too bad. Too, too bad. Huh? Oh, them mother can uh, oh, The things that Anita has done to me, the things that I've had to endure, in the marriage, <laughs> I don't think any other man would have would have been doing the same thing. Hmm. I've you, tried, I've tried, I've tried my best, but this last one, this what happened, I can't take it now. It's too much now. It's like a slap in my face. I cannot take it. I understand then now, Diba. Anya ke di pongo ke di, apongo ke di one di. Aneta. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. But that, that's too bad of him. Of course, he should have reconsidered his decision, considering the trauma you are passing through because of him. You know, his anger is that I told him Daniel traveled to the village and wasn't going to return. Little did I know the idiot was going to cancel, and instead of him to go to his office, he had to come back home. Hi. Baby. Daniel was monitoring you. Yes. Perhaps he was checking your phones and you didn't know. But I'm going to be frank with you. I lost nothing from separating from Daniel. Yes. At least now I have time for my dwindling career. And I am of the opinion that if you love me, you should be able to support my potentials. Be I'm here. with you. I'm with you, baby. You can't claim you love me and you hate my career. No! Of course, you know what? Some of our African men are myopic. They believe that a woman should live and die in the kitchen. Not in this 21st century. 
Not anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, I am a celebrity. And no man can stop me. <laughs> Period. I'm with you, darling. Unstoppable. <laughs> My pretty. Baby, mm -hmm. real men are there for you. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm consigned, men like Daniel can go to. How? Oh, so How fire? <laughs> Who the hell is Daniel? <laughs> it's so Daniel. <laughs> Baby! It's not his fault though. I brought him to my house. Don't mind him. Move on. Relax, okay, you're not safe here. Just know what is it? I killed him. You killed who? Mr. Michael, you wanted to rape me and I stopped here. It's okay, it's okay. Just relax, okay, you're not safe here. Don't worry. Just tell me about what I'm about to do, okay? Don't worry, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Problem. Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm okay, darling. Ah. I'm fine. No, you're not. Stop pretending. You've not been yourself for days. What is eating you up? What is the problem? You can talk to me. Something is eating you up. I'm worried about my daughter. Ah. What happened to her? Nothing. I'm I'm just worried about her, that's all. Well, she's with her mother and her mother is capable of taking good care of her. If wishes were horses... You would have done what? I would have gone to see her today. Like, even right now. But you have Charles' number. You can call him. Charles' number has not been going through. I've been calling, I've been calling. But to no avail. I don't even know what to say. But you just have to calm down. Hmm? You just have to calm down. I don't want you stressing yourself over this thing. Sister, oh. I'm hungry. I'm coming. Is the food not ready? They can go and dish food for themselves. Now. It's ready. Let me go and get it. Don't worry, sister. Let me go and dish it. It's okay. Let me go. Let me go with them and get it. Chidi, you have to be helping your sister. Oh. You see that she's heavy. She cannot be walking up and down like that. You're not a small boy anymore. Okay, brother. Charles, open the gate, open the door. Be fast. I said open the door. 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 Open the
Juliette. 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 Belle Juliette. 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 Mom, Juliette a run away. Ah, okay, mom. Okay, mom. Oh. Enter this car, open this gate! I'm, open the I'm gate! I'm waiting for you to enter. Let open me close. this car! Let me close. I want to close the bottom. But I was somebody supposed to open the gate. Are you a fool? I said, open, start this car, open the I'm gate! Start, I'm starting it now. Now start it. I'm going to start it now. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Now you see, nobody will open the gate. I must open this gate. Your phone is ringing. Thank you, Chile. Okay. Hello, Ma. Daniel, how are you and your family? I'm fine. Everybody is okay, Ma. Um, is Juliet in your house? Juliet? Did she tell you she was coming to see me? Ma, um, if I may ask you, is, is everything okay? Is everything all right? She stabbed the young man to death and ran away. What? My daughter stabbed a young man to death? Yes, the young man wanted to rape her and she did what she could to protect herself. I'm trying to rape her where? Where, Ma? Brother, is everything all right? Yes, everything is okay, Chidi. Go inside. Really? Yeah, go inside and come, come in. It's all right, right? You're fine. How could Juliet stab somebody to death? What is going on? Were you here when he was stabbed to death? Sir? I say, were you here when he was stabbed to death? Sir, this question, you have been asking me this question, even in your office, and I kept repeating, no, no. What is that, sir? Sir, what better get him out? Are you mad? I said, are you mad? No, sir. How dare you? Are you the one to tell me when to ask you a question? I had to ask you a question. Just now. Are you stupid? No, sir. Mr. Man, watch your tongue. Oh, we deal with you ruthlessly. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Ma, I'm very well. I don't think so. Not do your investigation. Just looking for who to. You're still talking. You better keep quiet. I'm just talking to myself. I said I'm part of the investigation. Yes, take a look at these pictures. Before then, I found it. This cupboard. Yes, in Julie's cupboard. Are you serious?
Hey! You're crying. Hey. Oh. Are you sure you're not the one that killed him? You're the number one suspect. Hey! Hey! Oh my God. Stop the young man? How? When? She said the young man tried to rape her. Hi. And in self-defense, she, she, she stabbed him. No, no, no. What I'm thinking about is how. So I asked her, like, where did the incident happen? She could not say. Because Anita's house, I know that house. It's difficult for a stranger to, to just uh, have access to the house. When I was asking her, where did the, the, the incident happen? She, she could not say. She just ended the call. Then why didn't you call her back? I did. I called her back so many times. She didn't pick my call. Maybe she was busy or something. Ah, Anita. But you still need to call her back. Please, call her. Juliet is just 10 years old. How could she stab a young man? Somebody that is, is, is even much uh, older than her and stronger than her to death. She was trying to defend herself. You don't have to blame her. She's just a minor. I don't think without the, the help of an adult, she would be able to kill somebody like that using a knife. Don't underrate anyone. Children learn a lot from, from the internet, the good or bad. Everything is learned on social media. <sighs> I will blame Anita. I've warned her not to give my daughter a phone. Don't give the child a phone. Yet and say she'll give the child even her own phone to use. Then what are you talking about? She learned all that from the phone. Hi. If anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to my daughter, I will hold Anita responsible. I swear I would not forgive her. You just have to call her. This is terrible. What kind of a thing is this? How will you just let it little child to, 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 to I don't I don't I don't even understand. What kind of mother is she? What kind of mother is she? God. Why me? Why did you let this before me? Why didn't you deliver me? God. Why are you crying? If Michael had not pounced on you to rape you, would you have stabbed him to death? If you had gone to school today, you wouldn't have been in this mess. Now you will spend the rest of your life in jail. God, please, forgive me. And forgive Michael as well. Exactly. We interviewed the man, according to him, his son left the house six months ago. Why? He actually tried to stop him from going out with Anita. But instead, the young man left the house to live with Anita. And so we also told that Becky, the deceased fiance, traveled to the village for her mother's burial. Oh, damn it. She lost her mother? So we told, sir. We were told that Becky was afraid of open confrontation throughout this period that her nephew was going out with Anita. So she kept quiet. <sighs> so I think I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes, sir. Come up with it. Sir, please, I would like to interrogate Anita and her daughter separately, sir. 
Officer Ang. Sir. You should know that these persons have been interrogated over and over again. You should know that. Sir, I know. I know, sir. You know, I am a woman. I know how to convince them. They will tell me exactly what happened, sir. I think she's right. You think so? You have my permission. Do that immediately. Thank you, sir. Have you taken the knife to the laboratory test? We did that before going to our movie for interview. Good, good. Please, I want to report in my office. Thank you, sir. All right. Fall out. All right, sir. What is going on in this country? How could police arrest a minor and lock her up in a police cell? They say she allegedly stabbed a young man to death. What? How could she commit such a heinous crime? The young man tried to rape her. Yes, he tried to rape her. And in self-defense, she, she had to stab him. Unfortunately, he, he died. Oh, well, the last time I checked, Self-defense is not a crime anywhere in the whole world. So, she will regain her freedom soon. I hope so. I hope so, because she will. if by the end of today she's not freed, I will have to go to, to, to the city to see her. I cannot let my daughter just be there by herself like that. Okay. I know that mother of us. Okay, okay. I don't even understand. Rape is on the rise in this country, yet so the government is doing nothing about it. Government is doing nothing to curtail it. Every now and then you hear about a young lady being raped. Nothing. Too bad. Too bad. Moral decadence all over the globe. Especially in this country. Too bad. I am here to help you. So I want you to tell me exactly what happened. Okay? Now tell me, what conspired between your mother and Michael? Nothing. So why did your mother stab Michael to death? My mom didn't stab Michael to death. I did. But the story has it that your mother and Michael had a little scuffle and your mother got angry and stabbed Michael to death. My mom wasn't even in town when this happened. Michael wanted to rape me. When I saw that he was too strong for me, I quickly grabbed the knife and stabbed him. Michael wanted to rape you. How can Michael want to rape you because you used to do it with him before? I had nothing to do with Michael. But we found some things you're not supposed to see in your closet. And the pictures you took with him on your phone. Some things? Yes. See, if you don't want to spend the rest of your life in prison, you better start talking to me now. I don't know what you're talking about. And about the pictures. Me and Michael usually take pictures when he comes around. You see, I promise to help you, but you're making things difficult for yourself. You better start talking now. Juliet. Ma, I stabbed Michael and Moby. See, I'm a woman like you, and I know exactly what you're going through right now. You know, the trauma and all that. Especially when you're being betrayed by someone very close to you. I I don't want to go into that now. What could have led into the ugly incident? I don't know. I returned from Abuja and met Michael in a pool of blood. Why didn't you rush into the hospital? You know, maybe he would have survived. Of course. I wanted to rush him to the hospital, okay. but he died. I have never witnessed something like that in my life. I'm yet to overcome the shock. I understand. Okay, I do. But I would like to know, how long has Michael been staying with you? Six months. Six months. Has he by any chance, you know, displayed this character of insanity or something? No. Are you aware that he has been sleeping with your daughter? That what? She said that to you? We found condoms 
and sent the pictures in her closet. The condoms are mine. I hid them there to prevent my boyfriend from using them on me. You could have kept them somewhere else now. Huh? Or because they threw them away. The condom was not responsible for Michael's devilish act. So do not put the blame on me. On the pictures. Michael was part of the family. So, it was no big deal, my daughter taking pictures with him. She still maintained her earlier statement just as the mother did. And their story are interwoven that you can't even dispute them. Seriously? They had time to agree on their story. Seriously, sir. This young girl is responsible for the gross sum mother. Seems so. No. I doubt. Who is this monster? Who is behind this illegal crime? person responsible for this must be brought to book. We must find out! This person must be brought to book. Okay, sir. I want you to go to your office and think. All right, sir. Go and put your head together and walk. We must bring this person to book. Okay, sir. Move it. Officer, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Thank you. How may I help you? I've come to obey my daughters. The woman cannot bear a person in this country. Why? And can you cite any law backing this off? What's my business with the law? I have told you what is being practiced. Pure and simple. Okay, um, can I see your DPO, please? Seeing my DPO will not make any difference. If you want to bail your daughter, I think you need to get a man to stand in for you. Okay. Can I still see him? Please. Wait for me. Follow me. Mom, where is my lawyer? He's out of town. I'm tired of staying here. This place stinks. It's very terrible. Please get me another lawyer. I can't stay here any longer. I know. Um, can I talk with you? Just get me another attorney. Please. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yes, I, I will just have to come tomorrow because I cannot allow my daughter to be in a police cell for for more than a day. I, I, I can't. Yes, I, I, will, I, will, I will be in town tomorrow. 
Okay, thank you for the information. Thank you very much. All right, bye. You okay? Hey, darling. Yes, sir. Come here and sit down. Take it easy. I was just talking to Juliet's uh, grandmother and she told me that they refused to grant her bill. So she's still there at the police station. Huh. So I I have to go to town. I have to okay. go and see see her, see if I can secure her bill. So how many days are you going to spend if you go? If I get there tomorrow and I can make sure that she's released from the police cell, I will come back the next day. Hi. I don't want to stay long in the city. And if he fails for you to secure her release the same day, are you going to come back the following day? No, I, I will just have to be around until I can make sure she's, she's out of that uh, police custody. Hi. And if you continue like that... So I will just have to stay. So that means you're going to be paying hotel bills over there in the city. It's honey, not easy. Honey, I'm not just Juliet's father. I'm her best friend. She'll be mm. expecting to see me. I don't want to disappoint her by not going there when she needs me the most. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just confused. All this thing for a child. I don't even understand. <sighs> What are you leaving for us before you go? You know I'm pregnant. Don't worry now. I will I will leave something that will be able to sustain you for the next few days. But uh, should in case you need anything, any emergency, just uh, call uh, Mazi Okoro. Okay. I, I, I will speak with him. He will, he will give you whatever you need. Okay? It's okay. So but don't worry, okay? You never can tell when the baby will arrive. I know. I know. I'm sorry I'm not going to be here for you when you need me the most. Uh, you know, Juliet, I, I just have to be there for her. I cannot it's trust okay. Anita. Huh? It's okay, I understand. Come here. Everything will be fine. It's okay. was not smart enough to stab him to death. He would have raped her. Yes. I didn't know my girl was going to pay me like this. God. After all I went through for him. You can believe my girl could have the heart to treat my daughter, my own daughter, this way. <laughs> but it is unfair for the police to detain you and your daughter. Of course, Juliet did what she could do to protect herself. Isn't it obvious? It's because I don't have any man or woman in government. That can speak for us. <laughs> Don't worry. She is a minor. And for all I know, self-defense is not a crime anywhere in this world. Yes. Besides, everything happened in your absence. Uncle Akora! Uncle Akora! 
My wife has given birth. Hey! Yeah, man. Yes, just, man. just, just now, just now. Hey! Oh, Jimo! Congratulations, my thank son. Thank you, thank you, thank hey. you. Thank you. I just want to come and tell you because I want you to know best. Uh -huh. She has given birth. Thank God. Thank God, my son. <laughs> so, God, oh. how is the mother and child? Oh, they're fine. They're yeah, doing very well. Hey. They're yeah, doing very well. Uh -huh. God is good. God so, is good. How is the city thing? Uh, how are you going to do about it? Are you still going? I will have to go back to the city now. I will have to go back. I will go tomorrow. I already called my daughter's grandmother and I told her I will be there tomorrow. I have to go and fight for my daughter to be free. And ah. your wife and the newborn baby at the hospital. What about it? Uh, I, I will. Uh, my wife knows that I'm going. We've talked about that already. So, who will be taking care of them as we are leaving? Uncle, you will help me now. You will be checking after her. Ah. I cannot divide myself. I have to focus thank on her. Thank God, thank God, my uh, son. Okay, thank Uncle, let me rush to the house eh? and go and uh, take it to eat. Okay. I want to take it to the hospital. My wife can eat and be strong. Uh, I will be coming to see you. You know, I already came to your house when you people were out. Oh. I will be coming. I will be coming to oh, check God, on you people. You. Uh, you. I will come. Thank you. Hey, thank, you. thank, thank you. God, my son. All right, thank, thank you. God, my son. Yeah. Hey, Gina Kedalo, Chukun Naime Kako. Ah! Go to Gina Ked. Ah, ah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's just hope that by tomorrow, Juliet will be granted bail. Thank you. I think we'll be on fair to this one girl. Madam, everything has got due process. The police is just doing their work. Like I said, let's be hopeful that by tomorrow, they will be done with their investigation. What are they investigating? Eh? Hey? A minor that was at the verge of being raped did what she could to protect herself. Calm down, madam. I will make sure that her rights are protected. Okay? It's okay. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you. I'll do my best. Okay? All right. So, um, tell the big deal. I will be back to you, okay? Bye. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm beauty, beautiful baby. Oh, oh. Anita, thank goodness you are back. My daughter is still in the police custody. Anita, I know. But nothing will happen to her. She is a minor. And she did what she could do to save herself. You know, Sophie, I'm still confused. I, I can't understand why Michael had to rape her. Why? Some men are like that. Yes. They only get satisfaction in cheating on their girlfriends. Yes. And that's exactly why I didn't accept when he asked for my hand in marriage. Baby, my life is incomplete without you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please don't say no. Michael, I love you, but I can't marry you. Why? I know you will definitely cheat on me. I swear with my life, I will not. Michael, if you could cheat on Becky, who suffered for you? I don't think there's any woman on earth that you cannot cheat on. Baby, I found everything I need in a woman in you. I am not going to cheat on you nor break your heart. 
trust me. Michael, I've tried this once and it didn't work for me. I don't want to do this again. But we've not tried it together. Yes, we've not tried it with me. Let's try it together. I promise you, we'll make it. Yes. I'm a celebrity and I need my freedom. I don't want to be tied down by any man. I will support you all the way. Of course I know you. You cannot be tied down. Once in a while, you will always want something new. Michael indeed went for something new. Sophia, I wish I had listened to my instincts. I would have sent him out a long time ago. <laughs> now look at this. Look at it. Monica, please stop. You don't have to blame yourself. You trusted him. But what did he do? He betrayed you. He went too far. So you don't need to over worry yourself about him. I'm so worried. I'm worried about my daughter. I don't know what to do. Anita, please hold us. <coughs> well done, ma. Well done. Sorry, uh, the fuel is here. I've already bought the fuel. The, the fuel is already here. Drop the key and leave. Ma, thought you said uh, I would take you somewhere. And you are telling me to drop the key. I said leave. I spoke. Ma, but do you know if she will still go to? Leave first. I'm saying because I love my. Can you go first? Just leave now. Okay, sorry. Okay. I don't understand this man. I just love my love. Love indeed. Anita. Sophie, I don't know what to do. Like, yes. You have to put yourself together. That's all I have to tell you now. I'm devastated knowing my daughter is in the custody. I'm finished. <laughs> I know. But trust me, nothing will happen to her. She did what she could do to protect herself. Of course, they, they will understand. She's a minor. Nothing will happen to her. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Mm. I understand that you are preparing for your junior secondary school examination. Yes, sir. Wow. So, by next year, you should be in SS1. Yes, sir. Hmm. Good. Good. And before you know it, you are out of secondary school. Yes, sir. So, tell me. Would you want to further your education or you want to learn a trade first? Education first. Mm, I cool. want to progress from a reputable university before going to any business. <sighs> that is good. That is good. So, what course would you love to read in the university? Accountancy. Accountancy. That is good. Really? Yes. It's a perfect one. My mom doesn't like that course. She says she prefers theatre art, but I hate that course with passion. Why? I'm not good at amusing people or fabricating something out of nothing. <laughs> My friend, you are funny. I'm serious. I don't like the course. My dad, he prefers accountancy to theatre art. Hmm. So you mean you don't want to amuse people? You don't want to be shot in television, superstar? Huh? 
You don't want to out fame or those things. You don't like it. Mm. Wow. So, you want to go into the university to read Akandas? Yes, of course. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a nice one. It's all right. We'll come back to that later. Okay. I'm the divisional crime officer this year. And as a result of that, I'm in position to tell the DPU to release you. So I want you to look at me and tell me the truth. Tell me everything I need to know as your friend. What role did your mother play in the death of Mike Amobi? Talk to me. No role, sir. My mom wasn't even in town when the incident occurred. Juliet, you know you're not my friend. You should be confiding on me. I know you love your mother so much, and you do anything to protect her interests. But you know, your life, your education is at stake here. So I want you to talk to me. Who stabbed Mike and Moby? Talk to me! It's me, sir. I'm sorry. I never knew he was going to die. Otherwise, I would have allowed him to rape me. Please, sir. I was actually trying to defend myself. I never meant any harm. <sighs> My friend, death is inevitable. Though it is very painful to lose one, who one is counting on to take care of it? at the old age. But there's nothing we can do about it. All we need to do is to pray and ask God for grace to bear the irreparable loss. Jidolfo, I warned my son. Mm. I warned Michael against that woman. Oh. But he wouldn't listen. Look at it now. Mm. Jesus, for look at me. My son is in the morgue as mm. we speak. And that woman is in her house. Hell and hurt. Mm. Enjoying herself. Mm. Mm. Welcome, Dad. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? That she's my girlfriend, my baby. Shut up, my friend. I'm not asking you. I'm asking her. Who are you? Enough of this embarrassment, Dad. Enough. I said she's my girlfriend. She's my baby. You're still asking her. What do you want to hear from her? She is not your baby or whatever. Michael, you have a fiancé. Oh yes. You have a fiancé and I do not want to see you with any other girl. Let alone this, this, this Delilah. Look at, look at her eyes. Just, just look at her ears. How many earrings? Look at, just, just look at what you brought to my house. Dad, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't Please, I wouldn't like you to insult her again. Or you will not like me. I won't take it lightly with you. Please, don't insult her again. Oh. Are you threatening me because of... Don't insult her again. Michael. Michael, come back here. That was the last time I saw my son here. The very last time. Oh. He moved in with that woman packed his things and went to live with her against my advice. Oh. Children of nowadays and like Samson of old. Oh. 
My son died on the laps of a woman. Ah! Arrow. Right. Hey, there you go. Mm. Shameful. Me. I'm open. My son died on the laps of a woman. How can I bear the shame? How can I bear the shame? You don't fall. Children of nowadays. He should have listened to your advice. I think today the story would have been a different one. That goes without saying. Nothing would have happened to my son if he listened to me. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, my friend, it's a pity he died that way. But the only truth is that we are not escaping that at all. But that woman and her daughter who are late that Michael wanted to rape her. <laughs> we surely die and face God's presence for judgment. Pure, that is just the truth. No, they should have died before my son. Why would my son mm. die before them? Yes, we will all face judgment. But, but why would my son die so early? Uh, it's okay, my friend. God in heaven must surely avenge the death of your son. That is sure. None of us will escape that. Thank you very much, Jidafo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your words sink into me. That's good. Thank you. Um, my son's burial comes up on the 13th of this month. Is that so? Yes. Um, it's um, it's alright. One week plus from now. It's alright. It's all right. It's alright. I think uh, it's alright. I, I shall be there. Um. <coughs> my friend, uh, please. Money deal is a lot of money. To assist you on the burial day. That's nothing I have. Please, this is very little but manage it. Therefore, you have done enough already. You're my good friend. You've been here with me, consoling me. Please, manage it. Thank you very much, Jidor. Thank you, my good friend. To add to this little thing, this little money, please, I will want Eberi to handle your case. You know, she's a very good lawyer. Instead of you looking for another attorney, let Eberi handle your case. She's a very good lawyer. Hi, Jidor, for... We have done enough already. Now. What would you want? Hey, what are friends for? What else can I do for you? Right. Hmm? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In fact, I was thinking about it. Who I will engage the money and everything. It's okay. Thank it's okay. you. She will handle the case. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. God bless. You. It's okay. God bless. It's okay, my dear. <sighs> it's okay, my dear. I was, I was thinking about it's okay. who am I going to you engage in this case? You are such a nice person. How much am you, I going to you pay? You are such a nice person. I can't do anything for you if I am in that category. How? God will bless you. Thank you very much. Hmm? May this kind of tragedy not be for you and your family. Yes, sir. So, baby, it's all right. I have to leave now, eh? I'll come back in the evening. Tell okay. me. What would you like me to buy for you? Nothing. Excuse me. Nothing? Sophie, I'm fine. I don't have appetite. As a matter of fact, I've not recovered from the trauma. Excuse me. You have not recovered from the trauma of a rapist? Anita, are you okay? Anyway, if you said so. Ah, oh, welcome, ma. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Ah, Sophia, good to see you. Yeah, ma. thank you, ma. Welcome, ma. Thank you, Anita. How are you? You know what? Don't bother getting me anything. I'm fine. Okay? If you said so. Take care of her. I would have walked to you, but my mom is there. It's okay, it's okay. Take yeah. care of her. Bye bye. bye. Alright, take care, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Come on. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, um, Daniel, has he called you? No. But he's supposed to be here today. If he's coming here, it's because of his daughter and not me. Okay, that's by the way. Um, the police has granted um, Mr. Moby his request to bury his son on the 13th of this month. 13th? Yes. That was supposed to be his birthday. Really? Um, Anita. I hope this incident has taught you a big lesson. I was not responsible for his death. I met him in a pool of blood and I was ready to do anything to save his life. But incidentally, he died. Exactly what I'm saying. If you had not allowed Michael to live with you, he wouldn't have attempted to rape your daughter. Okay, should in case um, the case swings in favor of Juliet, I think she should just go and start living with her dad. After all, she's daddy's pet and not mine. Wait a minute. Juliet should move to the village with her father. Of course. That's where they belong. Hey. 50,000 Naira. He really surprised me. Jidolfo surprised me. Hey. I'm telling you. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just he like gave that. you a whopping sum of 50,000 Naira. He said just to help me prepare for the burial. Hey. I'm telling you. And he didn't stop at that. He actually asked me not to bother about hiring a lawyer for the case. Why? Daddy, does he want us to lose the case to that witch, Anita? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You don't understand. He actually wants us to win the case. Yes, he's asking his daughter, the lawyer, his daughter is the brilliant lawyer. Mm -hmm. He's asking his daughter to handle the case on my behalf, free of charge. You don't say. I'm telling you. Are you serious? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is good news. Oh, oh may God bless him real good. I prayed so too. When he was there, I prayed, I prayed. So, ah. Jidolfo, it shall be well with you. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. So, um... Uh, just 50,000, I'm just like that. <laughs> hey! Can you, you imagine? Yeah. In this hard time. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Ah, daddy, wow. that man is indeed your friend. Oh, he is, he is. He is. We have come a long way. <sighs> uh, by the way, how, how was the burial where, where you went to? Mm. Daddy, everything went fine. Though it has not been easy on Becky. Uh, it's expected. Um, it cannot be easy for someone who lost her mother and her fiance on the same day. Mm, it's, it's a tragic, tragic coincidence. <laughs> daddy. Honestly, it shall not be well with Anita and her daughter. Never. They will rot in jail. Amen. Daddy, the water. Ada. The water I requested for ever since. It's just coming now. Huh. Yeah, the, um, sister, I'm hungry. You can imagine. She didn't even acknowledge the fact that you complain and she's telling me she's hungry. So I should come and serve you food, right? Daddy, honestly, you're spoiling this girl. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. It's not about spoiling. I think um, uh, she's taking your permission to take food from the, from the kitchen. What kind of permission is that? You're always supporting her. So if I serve you food now, you eat. Now get out and go eat your food. Yeah. Ah. Look at her. Fatty bumbo. Daddy, I don't like the way you're supporting her. You're really, you're really spoiling her, man. It's not good for her. 
Then, and then there is not spoiling. You know, it's, it's, it's a young, it's a teenager. Huh? When you are her age, do you know how you are behaving? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Daddy, please. Mm. Forget about this girl. Mm. Hey! 50,000 naira. Daddy, I'm going to help you keep this money. <laughs> Let me help you keep it. When you need it, take it from me. I need it right now. Daddy, I can save it for you. Daddy. I need this money right now. Daddy, your fr another friend might come here now and start. Give me this money my money. Daddy, yeah. no, no. Oh, madam, you are ready to go? Yes, I am. Can I have the key? You know, that's my primary assignment. Don't worry, you know what? We'll just stay back in the house and take care of the house. I want to drive myself. Ma, you are bridge, you know. Remember the contract says I'm your personal driver. I'm your PA. I'm your get man, your security, including your, your cook. Please open the gate. I should open the gate. Now you are bridging you know. up. Beri di beri di di dum do ya. A dum do ya. Beri di beri di di dum do ya. Hey, I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm telling you. Yes, what are you doing in my compound? How, how did you get in here? What do you want? Sir, please, I'm, I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't ask my daughter to kill him. Although what he did is the worst thing that any man can do to a woman. Yet, she shouldn't have killed him. Sir, please, I'm sorry. So you actually came here to insult me, huh? No. You came here to add insult to the injury. Listen to me. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Michael was the only man in my life. I, I don't have a hand in his death. Please. To air his human and to forgive his divine. Hey. Please. Sir, please, just hear me out. I didn't kill him. You actually had the audacity to come to my house to, to insult me? Oh, you're daring me. No, sir. No, no. Oh, sir. you're daring me. No, sir, I'm not. You want to please. know what I can do? Sir, please, you're now my oh, responsibility. Oh, you brought the battle to my house. Sir, you're now my responsibility. I'm going to take care of you and Meaning? your family. What? Please. Meaning what? What? Please help me beg please. him. Please. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. If you do not leave my house right now, I will do to you exactly what you did to my son. And even worse. Hey. No, sir, I loved my girl with all my heart. Please don't, sir, please just help me. Sir, I need you to understand. Help me beg your father. I help you beg him. Eh? No, come back. Why are you leaving? Come back. Fool. You are not my responsibility. What, what is she? That is okay, it's okay. She don't want What is that idiot? Please, please, she's out. Please, please, please. Look at who wants to take care of me. Did, did you hear that? I heard it. I felt insulted. I am so sorry. Please, remember your health. She don't want it to be good. Please, please, please. If I see this girl in this compound again for whatever reason, I will severe her head from her body. She won't even try it. Daddy, don't worry. I promise you, next time I'm going to take care of her. Trust me on that. And no fear. It's Michael that caused all this nonsense. That every rat, every idiot will now walk into my house. Daddy, please, please. To insult me. Please, your health. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Eh? Please. Let's go inside. Barista, this whole matter is tearing me apart. My blood pressure has risen. My doctor warned me seriously, but I wouldn't just stay a day without thinking about my granddaughter. The DPO knows the truth, but he has refused to cooperate. 
a small girl at the verge of being raped did what she could to escape. Yet you're keeping her in custody. I know that Mr. Mobi Odomodo is responsible for this. Madam, I have told you to calm down. I mean, it's me. I am the one handling it. So calm down. I spoke with the DPO earlier today and he assured me that once they are done with the investigation, she will be granted bail. Hi. Mr. Mobi Odumodo has vowed to take this matter to court. And if he succeeds, honestly, I don't know what will become of my granddaughter. There's no way this can be attributed to your daughter, madam. I mean, you told me she was not at home when this happened, right? Yes. But Juliet is her only daughter. And the fact that her daughter will be standing trial is enough to affect her. Besides, this incident happened in her house. So she'll be there to answer one or two questions. Madam, like I said, calm down. I'll take care of it, okay? I will make sure that I do my best. She will be fine, trust me. That's okay. I believe you. I'm seriously counting on you. You won't be disappointed. Um, you will send me your account details. Oh, okay. I will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Becky, I'm so sorry you lost your mom. I couldn't come for your barrier. Forgive me. But please take heart. Lizzie. My mom died as a result of retracted illness. Please. You've cried enough. I mean, it's better you buried your mother than the other way around. I also lost my fiance. What? Michael? Dead? <gasps> uh. How did it happen? <sighs> His life was sniffed out of him by one heartless woman. And her daughter who claimed that Michael tried to rape her. Vicky, I'm sorry. Please take heart. Please don't cry. You've cried enough. You need to be strong to overcome this. be buried? He hasn't. It's okay. It's a big challenge, but you have to be strong to overcome it. Ah, <sighs> Lucy. I want Michael. I want Michael, but he wouldn't listen to me. I had a nightmare about you and Anita. In that dream, you, you two were playing, and all of a sudden, Anita turned into a big python and beat you to death. <laughs> Wait. Anita turned into a python and beat me to death? Yes, baby. Listen to me, Michael. Please. It's high time you, you, you came back home. Please, leave here, please. Baby, please. Leave Anita. Anita is not a threat to our relationship, please. Leave her alone. In no distant time, I will come and marry you. When I marry you, I will stop coming to this place to come and live with Anita. Stop bothering yourself. I don't know why you're bothering yourself. Michael, please. If you love me, if you truly love me, please stop cheating on me. 
come home, please. I am not cheating on you. I am not. I have never cheated on you. Trust me. Stop bothering yourself. Why are you bothering yourself? Maybe come home, please. I am not cheating on you, please. I want to go home. You have to go home now, please. Just go home and take care of yourself. Stop bothering yourself. Just my, go. My God, please. please. I'm baby, going now. Baby, 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 hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Michael. Hey. Babe. Uh, Anita is not a threat to our relationship. Eh? The earlier you get this into your skull, the better for us. She's not. Okay, exactly what role is she playing in this relationship? A marriage consultant or a marriage counselor? Which of it? None of the above. Listen, Anita, she's a philanthropist and she promised to give me two million to support our wedding. Yes, baby. We need this money now, please. Listen to me, please. That woman or a, that lady, whichever one she is, is evil. Please don't get anything from her. Don't collect a dime from her. She's evil, please. Baby, relax your mind. You're stressing yourself. Look at your beautiful self. You're just stressing it. I am not a daft. I know what I am doing. I just want the money. Let me collect this money now. Just calm down. You're just killing yourself over nothing. I don't feel good about this. I don't at all. Michael, please, I'm warning you now. Even when I'm telling you something, you don't feel good about it. That means I don't know what I'm saying. Eh? Calm down. Just calm down. Let's get this money so that our wedding will make sense. Please. Smile for me now, please. Smile. I even went to him and apologized to him, hoping that he was going to turn a new leaf. I, I mean, just take things easy. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Okay? I still love him, but it's like good people don't last long. I know, I understand. I know how much you love him, but he never loved you. That's why he cheated on you. Men are promiscuous in nature. Remember, you hardly find a man who is faithful to his spouse. It's a man's world, remember? But you also have to take heart. Remember, no amount of tears will bring them back. You only end up hurting yourself. Ah. I won't cry again. Because I know it's the will of God. If you didn't allow it, it wouldn't have happened. Now you get the point. Nothing takes him unawares. Please, be strong. Oh, God. Honey, how are you? Has she been granted bill? Darling, I have no idea. I just checked into the motel to keep my bags. Ha! Huh. You're not even sure yet. Have you eaten? Yeah, just uh, a lot of noise here. I'm just walking down the road. I'm looking for somewhere to get bread. The motel food is a bit expensive, but I can't afford it. So I'll call you when I get back to the motel, okay? Alright, take care.
perro. Charles. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, though. Wow. Honestly, you are not looking bad the way oh, I thought. Oh, come on. Good to see you too. Where are you coming from? Mm, I went to bank to deposit the money for your, your, your ex-wife. Your madam. Sorry, my madam. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm glad she's doing okay. Mm, yes. Charles, you look okay. Hey, I'm sorry. You. Have you seen Juliet, your daughter, for police sale? No, I, I haven't seen her. I just, I just got to town, like now. Okay. No, eh? If say you die around, all these things no good they happen. Eh? Charles, Charles, can you take me to the police station to see my daughter? Are we going now? Yes. Let's now. Go. Yes. Let's go. Okay, thank you, Charles. You don't have to open. Hey, hey! Okay, let's go. This man is a nice man. This man is a nice man. Hey, go. Charles, sir, can I trust you? So of course you can trust me. Is there any problem? Who actually stabbed Michael to death? It's Juliet too. Juliet, your daughter. She did. Charles, are you sure? Okay, I am very sure of what I'm telling you. Even Madame was not around that day, this thing happened. It was Juliet. She even said it to Tamato. You know, eh, these uh, recent children, these 21 century children, they can do among two. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, go now. Imagine, you yourself pass. You're heading somewhere very important. But do you know where Michael's parents live? Okay. You know, I did a little research. Oh. Number 158, Ojo uh, Tim Ojo. I think of Joteme. 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 I know there. Yeah. I know there. This is. Charles, stop, stop me here. Eh? Stop me here. Are we no longer going? No, no. I just want to, I want to check something quickly. I'll go to the I'll go to the police station later on. Okay, on your own. Should I come yes. and pick? No, no, no. I'll go on my own. Thank you, Charles. Okay. I appreciate you. this, okay? The door is open, sir. Yeah. So may God bless you. No. God will keep you. You too, take care of yourself. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. Bye, bye, sir. <laughs> Let me just find my way and go. Oh, he's a nice man. <laughs> you know, when you told me you were back to Nigeria, I actually thought you were joking. No, 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 I wasn't. I came in two days ago, actually. Hmm. Wait. You mean you've been in this country for the past two days? I'm joking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I flew in a few minutes ago, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. So welcome back, Igwe Malaysia. Thank you. No. Don't do that. What happened? I'm mourning. Sorry. I'm mourning the death of my late boyfriend. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. He actually Cause his own death. What happened? He tried to rape my daughter and in self-defense she stabbed him to death. Rape? That guy must be a fool. They we should prepare a big place for him in hell. What do you mean? I can't believe he could do such a thing to my own daughter. Oh. It breaks my heart. Babe, no, no, no need for this, okay? <laughs> Uh, I'm thankful she escaped. Eh? Because that guy would have damaged her future. Just like that. Yes, she escaped. But she's still in detention. Uh, um, since when did the uh, safe defense turn to a crime in this country? She'll, she'll be released very soon, I think so. I just hope so. Come on, no need for this. Share up. You know you've not even welcomed me properly. She'll be fine, I promise. Okay?
Babe, there is this saying that say that the heart can never rest until it has found an object to cherish. And what makes you think you found an object to cherish? If I can recall, you told me on the phone that you were single and searching, ain't it? Really? Yeah, you did. No, I can't recall saying that to you. What are you trying to do? You know what I want to do? And please, please don't tell me now. It's either I get married to you or no marriage. Please, um, go home and keep the ring. When the time is right, I'm going to let you know. Babe, I want us to get married this month. So that we can travel back to Malaysia together. Why the delay? My late boyfriend's body is still in the morgue. So if you cannot wait till after his burial, I suggest you find someone else and get married to her. It hasn't gotten to that. I'll wait. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm timeless, beauty, beautiful, baby. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care what people say. Oh, yeah. So, how long are you going to stay in the village? Maybe a day or two. Why did you ask? I see. So you want to go and seek approval from your mom? <laughs> approval? For what exactly? <laughs> okay, let me tell you. On who and who not to marry, I guess. Oh, I see. Uh, for your information, I'm not a daddy's boy or a mommy's boy. I do whatever I want to do. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I like you. You know, I love men that say something and they mean it. They don't have to take them from anyone before they do what they want to do. Are you sure? Yes, I like you. Hey! <laughs> That's my road, I want to pass. Excuse you? Babe, who is this? Honey, please don't pay attention to him. You know, he's my security and he is usually like this. Please don't mind him, okay? I arrest people, you. Um, um, Mr. Man, next time don't do that, okay? Hey, I have to run now. I'll talk later. Bye. And you, what was the meaning of that? Okay, I'm trying to act as a security man. Trying to watch over your vigilant. What stupid security? The money I asked you to deposit, you didn't even do it. Okay. What kept you so long? I have a good news. Actually, I have a good news. I want to break now. They are breaking good news. Ma, from that uh, bank, I was coming due to the uh, a lot of uh, uh, network problem. There's a uh, there was a hold up and there. Uh, yeah. So on my way, self, I saw Daniel. I was I saw Daniel coming. So when I saw the Daniel, Daniel now told me that he want to follow me to station so that he will see Juliet. I was very happy. It was just I carried Daniel. Wait, you mean you went to the police station and saw Juliet? How is she? No, we we couldn't make it. We did not. We did, on our way <sighs> when we moved the first and second and third and the fourth pole. Then Daniel was the one that said I should drop. I was like, hey, what is happening? He said he's not going again. So we did not go again. Shut up! What nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? Will you drop my key and get out? Drop my key! I did, did not get the message. Okay, I should drop the key. I said it was it was even it was, when I picked the nana, we moved the first pole, the second and third, and then fourth. The nana Shh, you are just a fool at fault. Get out! Ma was the fool for me. Get out! Ma, I'm hungry. Do you have food? I have been working. Charles, don't let me say this again. Get out of this place. Thank you. Come on. 
God! How did I even hire such nonsense? Be careful the things you do. Babu. Be careful how you live your life. Be careful the things you do, cause you don't know tomorrow. Uh, okay. Thank you. The weather is cool, you know, the weather is very hot. Okay, greet your guy. Ah. Hot today. Hello, sir. Miss, Miss, sir. I'm moving. Good afternoon. So, sorry, the, the sun is very hot. I have something I want to talk to you about. But if it's okay, we can just move here because the sun is very hot and just talk. Who are you? How could you just stop me on the way and be telling me to, to go to where? Sir, what, what, what is it? Sir, my name is Daniel. Daniel Namdi. Uh huh. I'm the father of Juliet, Juliet Namdi. Sir, I have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Juliet? Yes. Juliet Namdi? Juliet Namdi. The same Juliet Namdi that I know? Yes, sir, but I think you. You are the father? We, we got wrong information, oh, oh, sir. Oh, oh. So, you are Juliet's father? Yes, sir. I'm so, just... so what are you talking about? Sir, I'm all ears, yes? I believe that we were all deceived. Sir. I don't think that the story that we know that Juliet, my little daughter, at the age of 10, stabbed Michael to death. Sir. What are you blabbering about? What are you talking about? Sir, listen to You're me. You're talking about my son's death. Sir, listen to me. I don't want you to be angry with me. Just please listen to I me. I am you angry know. already. I, I am know. angry sorry, with you. Sir, I am angry with everybody that's concerned sorry, about this. We're talking about my son's death here. Yeah. No, sir. That's why I'm here to beg you. I don't want you to be angry, sir. Just give me one minute. Let me tell you what I think happened. Sir, understand that Becky, Becky is your late son's girlfriend. And your late son was also dating my wife. He was sleeping with my wife. And I believe that Becky found out and she went to my house to accost your son. And that's what happened that led to his death. She probably stabbed him. And then she, she she convinced my little daughter to to say she's the one. I don't know what they have over my daughter's head that she's agreeing to say that she's the one who stabbed your son at the age of ten. Uh, what did you say your name was again? My name is Daniel, sir. Daniel Namdi. Daniel, Daniel. Do I look like a man you can easily confuse uh, and, and manipulate? Sir, I'm not trying. To no, do I look you, like sir. one? No, I'm not trying to confuse confuse you. I just want you to think about what I'm saying to you, sir. You want me to think about this nonsense you're talking about, sir? sir. No vex, Do you know what it feels like? Sir, to lose a son? That's, that's why. That's, I'm sorry, sir. No vex, sir. Just think about Sir, I'm not going to disturb you, sir. Please. Get out. I will not disturb you. Get sir. out! Yes, I will not disturb you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. What is this man talking about? What is he talking about? No, no, I cannot be confused. It's not possible. No, it's not possible. I can't. She claimed that the disease wanted to rip her, but there was no evidence to buttress her. Claim. But she ran into this place with her hands and dress stained with blood. <laughs> Council, you and I know that anyone can do that. Yes. What she said does not mean that what she's saying is the truth. She has told you all the truth she knows. Michael was engrossed and lost. And he tried to have his way with her. But the little girl who was peeling pineapple at the time had to stab him. It is called self-defense. I want you to release her. Barry said I cannot grant you that. The homicide division are not true with the investigation. So she remained in her custody. Don't you get it? I am not in any way stopping the homicide division from carrying out their investigation. All I want is the release of the little girl. I, I can provide her anytime you want her. Counsel, I can't grant you that. No. Mr. 
Mr. Desio. I hope you know that holding somebody for more than 48 hours is against the law. You have held this girl now for, say, four days. I want you to release her. Barrister, I beg your pardon. The little girl allegedly murdered an innocent young man to death. In cold blood. And you are in a hurry to take her away. When investigation is not fired. I won't do that. That little girl remain in her custody. Take that from me. And if you don't mind, I'm busy. Excuse me. It doesn't go down well with me. But the question is, why would Becky kill Michael, my son, and not Anita, who collected him from her? Huh? Daddy. Yes? It could be Becky went to attack Anita. Incidentally, Anita wasn't at home. And one thing led to another. Becky decided to stab Michael to death. So, how did Juliet come into the picture? That is power of manipulation. Becky manipulated the little girl. How? Manipulated how? I don't know, but that is exactly what happened. No, no. The Becky I know cannot hurt a fly. Let alone kill the man that she loves. No, no, no. no. Daddy, please do not conclude yet. Dad, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I would have allowed Michael to rape me. <laughs> no, darling. Don't say that, okay? Don't you ever say that again. I'm sorry this had to happen to you. I'm sorry I wasn't there to protect you. But I'm here now. I'm here for you. I'm going to make sure you come out of here. Okay? Don't you ever talk about being raped again. Alright? This place stinks. How have you been managing here? It hasn't been easy, but I don't have any choice. Oh, my darling. I'm sorry, okay? Sweetheart, I want you to tell me a few things. Few things like what? Is he your mother's boyfriend? Yes, Dad. Has he ever, like, uh, touched you sexually? Has he ever tried to molest you? No, Dad. But he always likes to hug me. And he tells me that he likes me. Even more than he loves my mom. He loves me more than her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Michael, Michael, he's, he's old enough to be your father. Like, how? I, I always knew your mother couldn't protect you. I always knew your mother couldn't raise you properly. I should have insisted that you come to live with me in the village. I, I should have done that. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. Oh, God. So that I, I want you to tell me. 
tell me the truth. Who killed Michael and Moby? I did. But I didn't know he was going to die. If not, I would have allowed him to rape me. See that? Don't say that. I told you not to talk about being raped again, okay? Don't say that. But this is unbelievable. Like, it's, it's not possible for you to, to kill Michael. That's unbelievable, Dale, darling. Look, I'm, I'm not satisfied. Tell me the truth. Did your mother kill Michael or was it was it Michael's fiancé that killed him? Dad, it was me. I didn't know he was going to die. Oh. <sighs> Darling, hear this for me. I know it's difficult to break the bond between a mother and her child. But your mother never wanted you. Even from the first moment she knew you were you were conceived, she never wanted you. So the sacrifice you're making here be in this place because of your mother it's not worth it all she ever wanted to do hey, baby, baby. Hey, what happened what happened <laughs> hey, 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 hey talk to me talk to me hey talk to me what happened Come here, what happened you know, i told you i was feeling dizzy before you left for work <laughs> yes, and I told you to go to the hospital and then do a test. And I did, but I did go to the hospital, but the, the test results fault my day. <laughs> what? Talk to me, what, what, what happened? What, what, what did the results say? Even though I don't believe it, even if it's true, <laughs> I'm not going to have it. I won't. Baby, come on. <laughs> You're not going to have what? What are you talking about? The test result says I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? You're pregnant. It's barely six weeks after we got married and you're pregnant. Whoa, pregnant. What are you talking about? I mean, we're, we're blessed. I mean, we're, we're so lucky. Six months after we got married and you're pregnant already? Honey, we are so blessed. I know you have your own opinion, but I don't care about this. I'm, I'm not going to have this baby. I'm going to abort it. I can't have this child. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Why do you want to abort the child? I, I, I don't want to be out of place on my celebrity lifestyle. Look, 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 come on, listen to me. I don't understand the drift. Why the change? What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What do you mean you don't understand me? Baby, do you know what it took me to be where I am today? Do you know? Hey, hey. Now you listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care what it took you to get to where you are today. But let nothing, nothing happen to my child. Okay? I can and I will. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Just hey. leave me alone. You don't care about my career. You don't care about anything. You don't even care if I die having this child. Just hear. leave me. Hey, hey, let me sing that. Let me sing. <laughs> honey, honey, I care. Listen, and that's why we got married. And that's why I want to have a child with you. Because I care. Listen, having an abortion is even more dangerous than having a child itself. No. No, having an abortion is more dangerous. You don't care. Just leave me alone. Hey, hey, you don't even care if I lose my body, if I lose my shape, my curves. 
You want me body? to lose my work? <laughs> Your body? <laughs> That's why you want to kill our child? Because of your body? If anything happens to our child, consider this marriage over. Yes. I mean it. I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. Your mother has not given up. She still hits you with passion. She doesn't want you. And this, what you were doing here, you are only hurting yourself. You are destroying your every dream, even your dream of being an accountant. It's being destroyed. Darling, please. Please, don't do this. Dad, has Becky returned from her mother's burial? I don't want to talk about Becky. Leave Becky. Do you love me? Dad, you are the only person I love on this earth. Dad, don't do this to me. me if you have to be in this jail. I can't live. I, I can't live with you being here. Please, you are my heart. You are my love, please. Say the truth. Please. Now, now listen to me, Becky. Yes, we are all humans. We all make mistakes. In fact, nobody's above mistakes, not even the Pope. So, all I am saying now is, I need you to tell me the truth. Look at me in the face. Shame the devil and tell me the truth. And you know what? I'm going to forgive you here and now. Only if you tell me the truth. <sighs> Go ahead. He wants me to tell you how I disappeared from the village where I went to bury my mom, came down to the city and stabbed his son. Really? Are you okay? I beg your pardon, Becky. What? Are you talking to me like that? That is okay. With all due respect, don't you ever insult my father again. Not even in my presence. Wow. Nena. You too. <laughs> I less expected this from you, but I'm not surprised. I am so disappointed at you. Please go, go. Leave my house. It's a point to go over there. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. It's, 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 it's all Michael's fault. It's, my, my, Michael is just putting me through this kind of nonsense. Okay. Every idiot will come into my house to talk to me anyhow. My sake. Look at this one. Please. I'm so sorry. It's okay, daddy. It's okay, daddy. I love you, daddy. Love you too. Mm. Love you too. Tell, tell, tell. Hold on, hold on. Hey! Hey! Wake up, sir. Yo. Hey! How are you? I'm, I'm fine, sir. Look at sure. me. I'm fine, sir. Okay, it's uh, Anita inside. Uh, I think she's inside. So it's your house now. <laughs> right, 
Thank you. Welcome, sir. I hope you'll be okay. I'm okay, sir. <laughs> hey! Imagine. Welcome, sir. Ah, you will not the gate for me. This man is a nice one. <laughs> He's a nice man. Hi. Anita. Are you just coming? No. So, where are your bags? At my motel. I left, left my bags there. Why? Is he not big enough? Anita, I can take care of myself. That's fine. Okay. Have you seen your daughter? Yes, sir. I did. Is your mother in? No. Is anything the matter? She asked me to come here for a meeting. She didn't tell you. That's fine. Let's go in. Going inside, finally. They're going inside. <laughs> what is my own? Let me just go and sit down, please. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Welcome home. Thank you. Sit. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay. celebrate our daughter's victory in advance. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. So, how is your family? Your newborn? Everybody's fine. I see. Are you surprised that little or nothing has changed since you left? No, not exactly. Make yourself comfortable. I will. You know you're still a bona fide member of this family, right? Or should I say the head? You're still the head of the family.
please, I want you to come with me. There's something I want to show you. Please. You haven't said the truth to me. What you were doing here, this suffering to be, this is not worth it. Your mother doesn't care. Honey, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. And what you were doing, confessing. The crime you did not commit is totally wrong. Dad, I am here for a crime I committed. I know mom didn't do well in the past, but please leave her out of this. about Becky yesterday. Why? Yes. Has she come back from her mother's burial? Yes. But she's in police custody. Why? Michael's father told the police that she stabbed his son. But that's a lie. Becky was in the village when the incident occurred. Honey, what are you saying? If Becky was in the village and your mother was in Abuja, then who stopped Michael? Talk to me. Who killed him? Honey, talk to me. You don't know what is going Officer! Doing. Honey, stop. Talk to me. Look at me. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Officer! Honey, look at me. Tell me who killed Michael. Is it your mother? Is that your mother? Officer! Who stabbed Michael? I'm a bit to death. Officer. I don't know. I have said it over and over again. I don't know. I did not. I was in my village for my mom's burial. The date happened. I wasn't even in the place of incident when this happened. I don't know, please. Your mother died. Yes, So, who do you think that will be responsible for the death of your friends? Officer, I don't know. I can't say. I, I, I wasn't living with him in Anita's place, so I don't know. Please, please. Do you believe that Juliet stabbed Michael to death without any help from an adult? Officer, the Juliet I know cannot hurt a fly. In other words, it was her mother who killed Michael. I don't know. Hey, Bruce, what's your problem? Look, if you don't tell me the truth right now, I will make sure you got in jail. Officer, please. I'm saying the truth. I don't know anything about this. I was in the village for my mom's burial. I don't know. Please. Please. You want to leave here? Yes. Sir. You want to leave here? Yes, sir. Don't start talking. I have said everything. I said speak. Sam, I'm saying the truth. Don't deal with me. Don't joke with me. Because I will do everything to make sure you go out in jail. Start speaking right now. Hello, where are you right now? I'm in my house, 
Yes, I want you to rush to the office immediately. Why? Juliet is willing to talk. Well, her to <laughs> and she says she will not talk to anyone except you. She has to wait because right now. Oh, come on, Anne. This is an opportunity to be waiting for. Hmm? Opportunity to die of hunger because of learning to grapple. I never say so. Try to understand me, Anne. We must get something from this girl at this moment. And you are the one to do that. Hello. Hello. This, this, this lady is there. They are not good for this job, man. Just imagine that. You are telling me. Don't put me in trouble. Please, I mind my business here. Auntie Anne, I mean, sorry. Detective Anne. You can call me Auntie, okay? Feel free. Huh? I'm here to help you, so you can call me Auntie, okay? Auntie. Yes? I'm disappointed in my parents. Why? Because they promised to get me out of here. But here I am, languishing in rejection and dejection. Don't worry, okay? I am here to help you, okay? Nancy, promise me that you won't record or say anything to your colleagues. I promise you, I will not disclose this to anybody. Huh? Okay. Nancy? Yes? If I were your daughter or your younger sister, would you have locked me up in cell for stabbing a man who wanted to rape me? Yes, I would have locked you up. Then after proper investigation, if you are found not guilty, you will be free. But if you are found guilty, you will face the law. Auntie, if you were me, would you have allowed the man to rape you when you had an opportunity to defend yourself? If I were you, I would have defended myself without sending a man to an early grave. You're right. I wouldn't have stabbed him. Juliet, what did you send for me? Auntie, will God ever forgive me? Is that what you sent for me? Yes. Is that what you sent for me? You want me to discuss my relationship matter in the office. Now, if the DPO comes out so that you fire me, don't put me in the office. Stop it. The DPO just has a girlfriend. Is that what you're telling me? How did he go? Was she able to reveal the killer of Michael Amobi? No, she did not. How did he go? You need to listen to this. I am going to make it for myself. Thank you. Just like that? Do you have any problem with that? Come on, Anne, come now. <laughs> Anne! Hey, 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 just... Hello! Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! All this for me? Yes. I, oh. hope you, I hope you love them. I love them. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And I have come in accordance with our agreement few months ago. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, do not say no. 
except you want me to kill myself for you right here. Uh -huh. Sorry. It doesn't go to that. I don't want you to die. But then I set my hand in marriage. <sighs> but you know I'm in a relationship, right? Becky, we both have already known each other for a very long time before Michael came into the picture. Perhaps God doesn't want us to stay together. If not, we won't have lost contact. Becky, on the contrary, we were made for each other. If not, we wouldn't have met again. Okay, then. I'll only accept your proposal on one condition. Please tell me. I am equal to the task. Pray that one day Michael walks up to me and say he's not getting married to me again. He has already done that by cheating on you. Well, then pray that he dies. Chineke, that will be going to God forbid. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, now that Michael is finally out of the way, please do not say no to me again. Are you happy that Michael was stabbed to death? I am not happy that Michael was stabbed to death. But the first to remain that Michael is dead and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Maxwell, how did you know I was here? I went to your house to sympathize with you over the death of your mom and your fiancé, your neighbor. You told me that you were arrested and locked up by the police over the death of uh, my, uh, Michael, who was stabbed by a man. Among B and his daughter, Nina, confused. They left the woman whom the daughter alleged stabbed Michael to death and came after me. Seriously? My God will not forgive them. My God will judge them for all they've done to me. Sorry, sorry, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry. We have been through a lot. I'm sorry, my dear. to quickly see Barrister Ebera in her office. I'll be back in a jiffy. Eh? Daddy? Yes? Even though we are not paying for our services, I... yet I still do not see any reason why we should take this matter to court. Except if by the end of the day, Michael will be bring back to life. Are, are you trying to mock me or what? Eh? Who is talking about Michael coming back to life? Michael will never come back to life, that we know. But the death of whoever killed my son, the death of that Anita, will bring comfort to my soul. Yes, it will bring closure. That's what it's called, closure. When murderers are tried, it is not because the victim will come back to life, no. It is so that the relations of the deceased will have some comfort, closure. Daddy. Do you have any evidence to prove that Michael was stabbed by uh, Anita and not Juliet? I don't have any evidence for now. I don't. But you know what? I know for sure that that is what happened. And you know it too. You should know it. How on earth could that little girl 
Uh, kill Michael. K could, I, could I call Gigi Ibobo Michael? No, no, think about it. A man like my son, my own son, that little girl will kill him. I will be watching her. No, now. See, let me tell you. The blood of my son that was spilled on the ground will avenge his death. Yes. Daddy, the mother still remains Juliet Nandi and not Anita. She killed him because he wanted to rape her. Honestly, Daddy, if I were in that little girl's shoe, I would do the same. Honestly. You are beginning to provoke me, Nena. No, 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 you are beginning to provoke me. How on earth could you believe that kind of nonsense that, 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 that I'm peddling about? How could you believe such propaganda? Eh? Even you. Listen, if that Anita has bribed you or bewitched you, it is not me. I am, I am many steps ahead of them. Okay, go and tell her they cannot get me. They can never get me. And, and let, let, let me warn you, let this be the last time you're going to say something like this around me in this house. Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy. I'm so sorry. I won't do that again. You better be. I'm leaving. Alright, see you when you get back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. <coughs> you know what? Go in and freshen up. Why I go get you something to eat? Good? Okay. Yes. Go Have your key, right? Okay. I will be with you soon, right? Okay? Okay. I'm coming. I'm glad to see you. Because I heard what happened. Oh, wow. Thank God you're back. It's not easy. I know. Let's go inside. I want to freshen up now. Okay. Just came back. Thank God for Maxwell. Yeah, I saw him leaving the compound. Let's go. Going back. I don't know, darling. I can't leave until I get you out of this terrible place. Then, am I leaving today? I can't say. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best. But. Your hotel bees are getting high. I know, sweetheart, but I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can leave the hotel and maybe go to your friend's house or better still, Moon's house. No. Not your mother's house, I can't. I can never go back to your mother's house. My friend is not around. But, but it's okay, my hotel is more comfortable. My, I'll manage. I know. But I'm trying to cut your expenses. Besides, you said that you're running out of cash. Sweetheart. If you want to help me, if you want to stop all the expenses and everything your dad has to deal with because you are here in custody, just tell me the truth and I'll get you out of here and then we can go and see the new baby. 
We'll all be happy together. Dad, I've told you everything I know. No, you haven't. I, I, I know you and I, I feel it in my heart that you're still hiding something from me. You that you're my daughter and I, I know you so well. Dad, who is no one believing me? I wish I could raise up the dead so that all the doubting Thomases would hear is from Michael's own mouth. Dad, please, you have to believe me. Please. I believe you. I believe you, so stop crying, okay? My friend, I've really been through a lot. This has been the most trying time of my life. I lost my mother and my fiance at the same time. And as if that was not enough, I got arrested and questioned by Mr. Moby and his daughter for the death of my girl. My dear, seriously, you went through hell. Not just hell. I'm pained and it's because of that useless four letter words called love that, that I got into this mess. Becky, you don't have to blame yourself for anything. You are aware how my younger sister got married to a man she did not love just to please our parents. At the end, what happened? The marriage crashed after six months. Yes. I'd rather remain single than marry a man I do not love. Not just a man I love. But the man must love me. In fact, he must overlove me. I know, right? Yeah. And that's why Michael cheated on me because he didn't love me that much. The past is past, so let it die. Ah, Maxwell! <coughs> What's up? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Hi. Fine. My love, you've called me to reach something for your friend. Don't worry, we will manage. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I will be going out. Okay. Yeah. So soon? Or is it because I'm here? Uh, no, 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 no. I have an important meeting to catch up with. Uh, you know. See you girls later. Okay. Right. Uh, please make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay. Mm. And eat your food. Okay. Uh, you. See you guys later. Yeah. to love you more. You are a fool! I said to you again, you are a fool! And I will talk to you any way I want to talk to you. What's wrong with you? I just don't respect you. Don't respect me! Respect you! Huh? You are a stupid man! And if anything happens to my daughter, you and your family Wait, will be wiped out. Wait, I, I swear to you, are you I will wipe you out. Wait, are you threatening me? I don't care. I don't care. Mr. Man, you haven't seen threats yet. Mr. Man, eh? let me just yes, wait. Let me I'm tell you. you. Let me tell you. I will not tell you. If you talk too much, you go inside the doctor. If you talk too much, I'm not going to tell you. What is your name? What is your name? Don't worry. I'll get you. See two of you. I will get you. Don't worry. No, no, no. You are not a fool. You are not a fool. Why is he shouting? Why are you there shouting? Now we say we can go keep person. He's not a stupid man. He asked me to keep you and this and that. I told him that they are not in the office. Next thing was he started shouting at me as if, if, if he's the one that gave me the uniform. Can you imagine? I swear he won't try it with me. He will not try it with me at all. Huh? Hmm. But see, let's call expert expert. This girl has stayed too long in this place. And I have advised you to take this girl to court. But you refuse. Take which girl to court. Is it DPO? Is he the DPO? If it is. Mm -hmm. Any, let, let me tell you. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. See, see, let me tell you. No, I know. I, just, just because of this thing, we will not do our job. Uh, but, 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 I, but I know that you are not the DPO. No, no, no. But this matter. You are in charge of this matter. Huh? You can take this girl to the court. Yeah, we must do our job, my friend. What kind of job are you doing? Mr. Man, do this thing now. Yes. Why are you looking at me? Let me do sugar and fight. 
and I don't blame you. Fool! I said to you again, you are a fool! And I will talk to you anywhere I want to talk to you. What's wrong with you? I just don't respect you. Don't respect me! Respect you! Huh? You are a stupid man! And if anything happens to my daughter, you and your family Wait, will be wiped out. Wait, I, I swear to you, are you I will wipe me? you out. Wait, are you threatening me? I don't care. I don't care. You haven't seen 20 years. Mr. Man, you haven't seen 20 years. Mr. Man, huh? let me just wait. Let me tell you. you. Let me tell you. I will not see if you don't do much. You go inside the door. Let me tell you. If you don't do much, I will not see if you don't do much. Don't worry. I will get you. See two of you. I will get you. Don't worry. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. Why is he shouting? Why are you in the shop? Now we say we can begin go keep person. He's not uh -huh. a stupid man. He asked me of BP and this year and I told him that they are not in the office. Next thing he was, he started shouting at me as if, 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 if he's the one that gave me the uniform. Can you imagine? I swear he won't try it with me. He will not try it with me at all. Uh -huh. But, see, let's call expert expert. This girl has stayed too long in this place. And I have advised you to take this girl to court. But you refuse. Take which girl to court. Is it the DPO? Is he the DPO? If it is. Let me tell you. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. See, see, let me tell you. I know. I, you just, just because of this thing, you will not do our job. Uh, but but, 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 but I, I know that you are not the DPO. No, no, but this right. matter. You are in charge of this matter. Huh? You can take this girl to the court. Yeah, we must do our job, my friend. What kind of job are you doing? Mr. Man, do this thing now. Yes. Why are you looking at me? Let me do sugar and fight. I thought I have been abandoned, but today my father, as usual, has lifted up my soul. Though I am still here, I am happy that my father reminded me that I am not an orphan. Dad. I am proud of you. You are not just a father to me. You are my best friend. As for my mother, I am suffering for the crime I committed. I wish I had known I would have allowed Michael to rape me. <laughs> Wait, let me show her. Sophia, see. You show her now. You don't show sure you. You're telling me to show her. What's even wrong with you? Okay, don't show. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sophia. Um, sorry, but please. Hmm? Can you please talk to my girlfriend? Um, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying in it. No. The call is either from her mom or Barista Ken. You know her daughter is still in police custody. So that is giving her concern. I can see you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't. I have no problem with her private life. My only issue here is let her take me to her uncle. That's what's up. Let her take me to her uncle so that I'll just, you know, pay her bride price immediately. American dollars. I want to. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. I'm going. To. <laughs> so, guess who called? <laughs> See, you know I'm not good at guessing. Just tell us. Don't worry yourself. It's one of our exes, yeah. yeah. One of my ex, what? See this one with plenty of skeletons in his cupboard. Oh, babe, you're taking it too far. I was just joking. <laughs> what sort of joke is that? James, did I ever tell you I was a virgin? Did I? No. But uh, the early book says that uh, when one is in Christ, all things have passed away. And all things become new. Hmm? Wait. You're still talking rubbish. See, I respect you a lot, but don't take it for granted. Because I will not even hesitate to insult you. What sort of rubbish is this? I'm saying the one you said, you're saying another one. Nonsense. Hey. Just leave her. She can't even allow you to talk to her now. 
But you were here. I was, I was just joking. Eh? It's, it, why is she taking it personal? I understand. But you shouldn't have used such a harsh word on her. Once she's angry, nobody talks to her. So. I'm happy Maxwell is still interested in you. But you know Maxwell is in a very serious relationship. And he's going to be married soon. Seriously? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but Maxwell is a very nice man. And trust me, any woman that gets married to him will never regret it. <laughs> Don't be deceived, my darling. Men are very deceitful, trust me. You're right there. But I just wish that we young ladies will organize ourselves and deal with this man. Seriously? <laughs> oh. By the way, I need something to drink. Don't worry, James. Let's give her a little time. If she's not here, I will go upstairs and talk to her, okay? What's the need of wasting time? Why don't you just go up there and ask? Here she is. Sophia, let's go. James, I'm leaving. There was a plan for tonight. I don't have any plan. Let's go now. At least let's go coffee this night. I'm not interested. Babe, clubbing this night is not a bad idea. You can go with him. He's all yours. Please, I rest my case. Baby, you're cool. We're going to be in the main file. Eh? Baby. Yeah, good. Good. Come down. Just leave me alone. Take your box. Leave me. Just leave me. You're blocking my way. Come on down too fast. Leave me down. Come down. This is even my lady. You know what I want to hear. Just tell me. Please. Hmm? You always annoy me. Just say it now. I want to hear it. Mm. I love you. Mm. Because you know I love you. That's why you used to misbehave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not here, please. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, baby. No one can stop me. I'm international model. No one can stop me. I'm timeless, beauty, beautiful baby. Oh oh oh. I don't care what people say. Oh yeah. I don't care what people say. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hey. Hi baby. What's up? Thank God I met you here. I was actually coming to your house, you know. Sitting home alone makes me sick. Then let's walk down to my house. Sure. Um, that reminds me. I saw Nena today. Late Michael's sister. Becky, now I know why they got you arrested. Yes. Daniel, true let's father asked him to arrest you. What? Nena and her father are confused according to Nena. Hold on. Is that why Tanya came around? Whatever. Nena and her father went too far and there's no doubt about it. So he came to spy on me. I should have known this. Becky, my name is Daniel. Daniel Inamdi. I'm the father of Juliet Inamdi. I thought Juliet in KG3. Really? Yes. Well, 
Well, I'm glad you taught Juliet in school. I also understand you are the fiancé of uh, the late Michael Amobi. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, my sympathies. Thank you. Um, you know my daughter, you know Juliet. Um, from everything that is happening, do you think Juliet is being manipulated? It's possible she's been manipulated. Um, do you have any idea who could be manipulating Juliet? No, I don't. What about Anita? Do you think is Anita? From the story, it was said that she was not in town that fateful day. So I don't know. What about you? Did you visit Anita's house on that day? Why all this questioning? Look, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you. I'm just trying to find out some uh, important facts about what happened that day. Uh, okay, Mr. Daniel, I think you have to leave now. You should leave. I, I just, uh, I'm sorry if you Enough, please. You know what, Lizzie? I don't feel like going out again. Can go out, see you later. Ah, Becky. I did not say this to remind you of your past. Do you know at some point I was beginning to wonder to reason Mr. Amobi and his daughter turned their backs against me? Now it makes sense. See, Becky, Daniel wants to incriminate you and perhaps get his ex-wife and daughter off the hook. That will not happen. That will never happen. They will not go unpunished. Exactly. Both his daughter and his ex-wife are going to face the courts and they will explain who and why they killed the innocent man. It will happen, okay? Justice will take its course. But you have to calm down. Life is too big. Life is too big. It's fine. Now Let's just go to my house. You'll feel better. Tomorrow will bring Come on. Let me not to get. No matter how fast you think you are. No matter how fast you think you can okay. run away from your shadow. Barrister Ken, you mean that man that chased my daughter out of his house two days ago will agree to settle out of court? Madam Time heals all wounds. Of course he will agree to settle out of court. I mean, he's got nothing to lose. But on the other hand, if he does not agree to settle out of court, <laughs> Madam, I do not mean to brag, but trust me, I know my onions. I've never lost a case, so I can't start now. If he decides that we go to court, he will fail. Woefully, he will lose. <sighs> Um, oh, mom, oh. I'm going to get up soon. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, Barista. Hi, Anita. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, Charles? I'm fine. I'm fine. Please drop it on the dining. Okay. 
Thank Good you. afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Mm -hmm. You good? Yes, I am. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you too. All right. I will be outside. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Anita. No. Barista Ken is suggesting we go see Mr. Amobi. Let's see if he will um, agree to settle out of court. What? Yes, my dear. <laughs> Mom, have you forgotten how he chased me out of his house? My dear, obviously he was still very much angry at the time. Like I said earlier, time heals all wounds. <laughs> Listen, Anita, you have to go back there. Yes. You have to go back there and make him see reasons he has to make peace. I mean, his son tried to rape Juliet and the little girl did what she could to escape rape. It's very clear. Where is the cane? No. You are the actor. Mm -hmm. uh, why not go see him? Discuss with him. And whatever you both agree, it's fine by me. How about that? Yes. Well, <clears throat> if you say so, no problem. I'll do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I have to run along, okay? All right. Okay. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Mom, I think this barista has helped me in measure. She's a very good lawyer. I was told she has never lost a case. I see. Well, I hope she wins this case because I cannot wait to reunite with my daughter. Let's just be hopeful, okay? <sighs> Mom, you look good. My BP. Don't worry, you're gonna be. Charles, are you hungry? Of course, Ma, Ma, if not by grace of God, by now, I would have been dead and, dead and buried and gone. I, I, I said, maybe you have forgotten. I have not eaten anything. Look at the... Ma, they don't bring light to. Look at the... I'm hungry. Okay. <clears throat> um, we have not forgotten. Sorry about that. Go and wait at the dining. I'll get you something to eat, okay? Ah, Ma, you have something. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, ma, sorry, pardon my manners. Ma, uh, now that you said you have something, Ma, can I be free and say something that I have in my in my mind? <laughs> what is it? Okay, Ma, ma that something you have is it a uh, fufu with a uh, ofu onubu? Yeah, mix and garnish with a uh, stockfish. Then as mangala. I will not ask any other thing. I hope I'm not asking for too much, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't have any of these things you just mentioned. But I have what you like. How about that? Oh, my you have something I would like. Exactly. My honestly, the way you from the way you are saying it, I'm beginning to like it. But with this thing now you have you have bought over my heart. <laughs> um, uh, Charles, what? By the way, when do you intend to marry? Okay, okay, marry. My uh in all sincerity, that will be when I become the governor of my state. Because my state, we have a very big state. Then I will be okay to govern everybody. Then feed my family. <laughs> you know what? You have my support. Oh, thank you, ma. You're a good woman. Um, okay, I'm coming, okay? Okay, I should sit here or where will I? Will I manage? Just go and wait for Go and sit. Go to the dining room. Thank you, ma. <laughs> <laughs> I 
can't believe I'm the one enjoying this kind of food. They call it sumptuous smell. <laughs> anyway, let me just give it to my hard work. In this life, when you work to eat, when you refuse to work, no food for less money. They wrote it with underline. <laughs> Look at the meat. Uh, it's good to be uh, hard working. Apart from that, I work as a special advisor. I work as a special driver. I work as a special GO, that is General Police. Sorry, I'm not police, but I'm an officer. GO, General Officer. That's why I eat. They're supposed to give me wine here, even if it's a champagne. <laughs> Let me argument everything. <laughs> It's good to be good. Mm -hmm. This is time to enjoy. I'm not supposed to kill myself because I'm working. I work every day. If I should work like that, I should eat like that. So tell me, how did you go there? Mm, it went well. Look at the ones I chose. Wow. Do you like it? Actually, I love this. Got the red. Um, Anita. When last did you visit Juliet in that police station? I don't like when I'm talking. Somebody will be looking at me as if I'm just a common picture on a wall. I want somebody to talk to me. When is Juliet coming back to this house? I don't know, sir. And what are you going to do about it? Oh. As if you don't know that schools have resumed. And by now, she's supposed to be in school. Don't ask me that question. Uh -uh. But, but we, are, we are seriously working on that. Besides, nobody told her to go and kill anybody. Don't talk rubbish. Don't talk nonsense next time I'm talking before uh -huh. me. Imagine. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not daft. I'm a man. I am very, very sure that the Juliet I know we never have such. We never ever think of marching ants. If an ant, not to talk of stabbing Michael. I am very sure that I want two of you to start talking right now. Who stabbed Michael to death? Yes. You know, Charles, you're right. Yes. My daughter, Juliet, cannot kill an ant. I'm doing my job now. You know that day I actually came back that morning from Abuja. And you and Juliet were the only people in my house. What does that tell you? Huh? What does that tell you? You killed Michael. Madam, calm down. You killed Michael, Madame. and now you are kissing my daughter. Madam, hold on. Okay. Hey, calm down. You, 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 are, you are right, Anita. You are a murderer. My, yes. My sister, this man is a murderer. You are a murderer. My sister, can, eh? I'm not a murderer. I'm trying to do my job. My sister, no, no, sister, calm down. He has not got into my sister. Now look at me. Oh, I did not. Don't, don't, don't I, 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 I was outside there, so I don't know what came into me. I said, let me act like a man. Did you drink Ogogoro that you have the God to come and stand here to question us so, like a servant? Don't worry. That Ogogoro that you took is going to clear from your eyes. Now. Exactly. My, 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 my eyes is all right. I don't know why the DPU is not. Please, if that number is not going, eh? I have the detective aunt's number, okay? Don't worry, he's going to pick them. <sighs> don't know. allow this phone to Sophia, me. lock this door. Hey, my I don't I want this boy to run away. Lock this door. Murderer, Madame. you killed Michael. Oh, yes. I don't even know how to kill mosquito. I cannot even kill mosquito. Hey. 
Madam, you are going to be arrested. Madam, yes. look at me. You are a murderer. I'm me. You, you, Mora, you, you killed Michael. I will die. You are putting it on my daughter. I will die before police arrive here. Is he ah, yeah, ba, 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 ba. He's ringing. Ba, 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 ba. Madam, can the DPO pick this phone? Because don't call DPO. Hi. You can call the police, but not the DPO. Oh, my, my sister. They will arrest you. Master. They will arrest you. you. Are you. Oh, look and my daughter has been. Has been in the police custody. I just want to. Why you are the murderer? I want to be a man, but this man lies to lead me to a woman. Hey! So... You're a murderer. Yes. You are a murderer. Yes. You killed Michael. Yes. You. Hear yes. my story. Hear yes. my story. Hey, Jesus, Jesus! Oh! Hmm? I just have to say, I'm not a killer. I'm not a killer. Huh? I'm not a killer. Somebody after eating this kind of stuff, just me, me, good food like this, huh? you still have chance to drink bad drink. Who said I'm a killer? I'm saying it now. I'm not a killer. I'm not a killer. I just finished eating. It was just a dream. It's when you, you go to bed, the hungry. That's supposed to dream. Either where they're pushing you or where you're pushing something. Who know would be more If not. I know that I said they are planning to poison me. <laughs> Governor in waiting. I hope you're satisfied now. But that one is understatement. I'm highly oversatisfied. Thank you. Thank God. Yes. At least you enjoyed it. Over enjoy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. My Sabi Kuko, you cooked very well. Um, um, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, excuse uh, me. Charles, ma where are you running to? <laughs> I'm, I'm not running, no. I forgot that uh, I didn't remove it. Will you go and open the gate? Ma, I should go and open the gate. Since this boy is silly. Go and open the gate. Not that I'm not afraid, just that I, I'm not. It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Mom, I'm tired of this man. You know, Charles, you know Charles is a clown. Please open the gate. Oh! The barista came. Is bad. <laughs> Madam, you're back. Yes, I am. Something just occurred to me. Okay. If we are giving Mr. Amobi an offer to settle without going to court. Then I think it's expedient that we also give him money to support his son's burial, which is coming up on the 13th of this month. What do you think? You're right. So how much are we talking about here? Eh? Mm, say two million. Two million will do. Fair enough. Okay, that's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Um. Come, let me do the transfer at once. Alright. Okay, mom. Okay. I'll see you later. It's fine. You're right. listening already? Yes. Okay. Bye. Call Bye. me, okay? Charles! Ma, I'm here, ma. Let's go. Uh, ma, are we going now? What do you mean? Are we going now? Are we not supposed to stay like one more week? My friend, come and drive me out of this place. Silly. What if I tell you I'm not with my kid and my kid is not here with me? Charles! Ma? Will you come and drive me out of this place? Excellent thing. Bye-bye. Good morning, sir. Ah, good morning. How are you, Amaka? I'm fine, sir. Mm, I hope you're fine. Uh, I'm okay. So, how are you coping with the taking care of the newborn baby Hi. and house chores? Sir, it has not been easy, especially with the house chores. But mm. Chidi has been there for me. I know it, it, it cannot be that easy. You see, um, 
The way it is. This money. Take this. This is 10,000 Naira. Your husband asked that I give it to you. I, and, thank um, you so much, sir. And uh, take this 3,000 Naira. Ah. Just use it and buy soup or anything for all of you guys. Hey. Uh, Talking from my humble self. <laughs> thank you. All this yeah. for me. Uh, let me Hi. use it and transport myself to the place I'm going now. Thank you. Uh -huh. Dalo. Uh -huh. Take Mdo. care of yourself. Eh? Thank you, sir. Uh, let me run some uh, errand. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm just in a haste. Uh, okay. Can you Okay. I can Okay, sir. Uh, can you <laughs> Dalo. Hey, Chineke. So this is why you strolled into my house, eh? Let me ask you, if you were in my position and someone stabbed your son to death, would you watch the person walk down the street with shoulders held high just because of power three, two million naira? Answer me, would you? Mr. Amobi, let me be sincere with you. If the murderer is a minor, I will gladly settle with the parents because I know I don't even stand a chance in winning the case. I don't. Really? So you actually came to my house to insult my intelligence? I beg your pardon? Now get out of my house. I said, leave my house. Nana, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. stay out of this. Listen to me. I do not need your money. I do not need any money for that matter. As far as this matter is concerned, only the death of the one who killed my son can assuage my feelings. Now leave my house. Uh, Mr. Amobi. I said I... leave my house! The person... Get out of my house! Oh, oh. Are you deaf? Mr. Amobi, there's no need... Get out! Okay. <sighs> Look at her. You think you're dealing with a riffraff? You see me. You and your cohorts. You see me. And you, Nana, I have warned you, time without number. Stay away from my enemies. Stop mingling with my enemies. I'm not going to warn you again. Excuse me. Please, how did it go? <clears throat> he insisted on going to court. He said um, only the death of the one who stabbed his son to death and not a billion dollars will comfort him. <sighs> this is a total setback. No. No, madam, no. Not at all. <laughs> Not when I'm involved. No. <sighs> we are going to win this case. Trust me. <sighs> anyway. Barista. I know I can count on you anytime, any day. Mom, it is the Lord's doing. Just calm down. Okay. 
Well, you did well by rejecting the offer. I mean, no amount of US dollars that can quantify the death of a young man whose life was snuffed out in a broad daylight. My dear, exactly what I said. Only the death of whoever killed my son will comfort me in this situation. Nothing less. Well, the court is the hope of a common man. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I am counting on you to win this case. You know, I don't have any other hope. I no other help from anywhere. I am counting on you. I will so, do my very best. So far, so good. Huh? I promise I won't let you down. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Um, at this juncture, I wish to take my leave, sir. That's all right. Um, greet your father for me, my friend. Eh? Sure. Please, my regards to him. Sure. All right. Stay well. That's all right. Take care of sir. Thank you, sir. Daddy? Oh. How are you? I'm okay, Nana. Hmm? Ah, the um, barista Ibele. Hmm. Hey, she just left. I thought you were sleeping, that's why I didn't uh, want to bother you to come and say hello to her. It's okay. Hmm. I hope everything is going on well. Yes, yes. We had a beautiful meeting here, you know, um, reviewed what we've been doing, and so far it is fantastic. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Mm. Mm. Daddy, mm? are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I mean, what else can I do? What can I say? Um, God is in control. Mm. We're going to win this case from what I'm saying. Amen. Mm. So, Daddy, what do you care for? Food. Whatever food that's available, just give me. Just light food. Yeah, that's, that's all. I'm fine. And I will add juice. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. All right, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Becky, please. We are so sorry. Forgive my father and I. We shouldn't have done what we did to you. Please. Come on, Nina. Why are you kneeling down for me? Get up, please. Get up. Sit down. Papa, I am not God. Don't do that, please. I feel so guilty. Honestly, we accused you wrongly. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. It's okay. I know this was all planned up by Daniel to divert your father's attention from his daughter and his wife. But thank goodness it did not work. Because you see this matter, this case, it's a tit for tat, an eye for an eye. Yes. The blood of my late brother will not go in vain. I will fight with the last drop of my blood. So shall I. What kind of network is this? I can't see. The, the phone is not even connecting. Really? Tired. You see here, that palm tree. Eh? That palm tree there. Yes. That's where brother stands to get his network. Just there. Eh? He will not raise the phone like satellite dish. Not like ah, this. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Just there. Okay. Let yes. me let me go and try because I don't understand this network again. Is it the chicken you want to call for? Chicken, don't come let me. Connecting. Hi, what kind of network is this? Hi. Okay, he's drinking, he's drinking. Ah. Hello, hello. My pretty angel, how are you? 
See, see, I'm not in that mood. When are you coming back? When are you coming back? <laughs> Calm down, my love. I can understand. Honestly, it has not been easy. But by the grace of God, victory will be ours. Amen. But when are you coming back? That is what I want to hear right now. You're lying. You've started lying. Just tell me you've gone back to your wife. Just say it. I beg your pardon. I don't have any business with my ex wife, okay? You started yours, Abby. So when I start mine, don't complain. Oh. You started it first. So just get ready for mine. Rubbish. <laughs> Whatever happened to you in this life, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Anyway, um, you don't need a soothsayer to tell you the meaning of the dream. Yes, it's quite clear. But I am not afraid of her. I am not afraid of that Anita. Yes, she has killed uh, the only person she can kill in this family because Michael gave himself to her. Daddy, even though it's a male dream, but I suggest you discuss this with Barrister Berry, or better still, report this case to the police. No, no, don't be ridiculous. How, how, this is mere dream, you just said it. Uh, what can the police do about a dream? Nothing. Uh, the only thing you and I and our dad have to do from now on is to be extremely careful. Yes, to watch our backs. These people are dangerous. They are devilish. So we have to watch our backs. Do not answer calls from unknown numbers. I mean, just 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 be careful. Mm. Yes. When people knock on this gate, be sure of who is knocking before you open. Okay? Yes, Daddy. Uh, yes, Daddy. Hey, Michael. I wish you had listened to the advice given to you and not give yourself to Anita. All this wouldn't have been happening. Hmm? Of course. Of course he didn't. And he paid the supreme price. But I will not let it go. I will not let this go. Nobody can kill my son and, 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 and walk free. I must take this case to the court. That's my final position on this matter. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. I can't believe that Juliet is still in detention. <laughs> Juliet is a strong girl. I'm very sure she would overcome the trauma. Anita, you failed woefully. How? If you had played your role as a mother, a good mother for that matter, Juliet wouldn't have been in this mess. Well, what are you even saying? Was I the one that asked her to stab him? No. But if you had not asked Daniel to leave, Michael wouldn't have come into your life, let alone going after your daughter. I never asked Daniel to leave. 
He left because we were not compatible. It's not true. It is not true and you know it. He left because you defied your matrimonial bed. Hold on! Hold on! I even I saw you people from here. I was running to come and open the gate. Welcome, sir. Sorry, sir. Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Welcome, sir. Time this one go, they do like one day. Me and you will fight, too. Me and you will fight. I just want to tell you, you tell me what is it again, madam? You are needed at this station for what? I advise you maintain your silence. I don't call with us with all due respect. This is violation of human rights, and I promise you. You will regret this. Madam, watch your mouth. Please come I with said, us. Watch your mouth. I said you will regret it. You cannot be screaming in my house. Don't do that. Miss Anita, please, can you come with us? Move it. Hey, please, don't, don't, don't touch don't, don't, me. Don't drag her. Don't drag her. Please. I'll follow you. <coughs> Mom, please call Barista Ken. It's fine. I will. Disturbing me. Have you not settled with your ex-wife? Amaka, ever since we've been together, have I ever cheated on you? Have you ever suspected me of anything like that? How would I know? How would I know? I'm here suffering in the village and you're enjoying with your ex-wife over there in the city. And you're telling me, please. Listen, Anita and I, we have nothing going on. Nothing. Then what are you still doing in the city? What are you still doing there? Juliet is still in detention. She'll be going to court tomorrow. That's why I'm here. Hmm. Okay. And if she finally goes to jail, you will become a wanderer watching her there. In, or in fact, go to jail with her. Since you don't want to come back. My daughter will not go to jail. My daughter will never go to jail. Why are you even sounding like that? Why are you talking like that? Hello? Hello? Amaka? Hello? No, remain there! She ended the call. Barista Ken is a very wonderful lawyer. Yes. I knew I could count on her. Her opening statement was brilliant. Brilliant. Honestly, this case is as good as being won. Oh, <sighs> thank goodness. Do you know that I offered, um, what's that his name again? 
Mr. Amobi, mm. the sum of two million naira. What? <laughs> you offered Amobi two million naira? Yes! Because I wanted to end this issue of going to court and all what not. But because he's destined to die wretched, he rejected the money. Now look at it. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Your daughter was wonderful in the court today. Oh my God. You needed to have seen her opening statement. Nothing could have been better. <laughs> Nobody could have done better. <laughs> Ebel is a very sound lawyer. I, I trust her very well. I saw that by myself. No, 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 no. She is a very sound lawyer. You've not seen anything yet. Wow. I don't know. You've not. Wow. You did very well. Ah, Ebel. You did very well. Ah, well, you trained a girl child. Mm. You trained a whole community. Mm. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, you know, if you were me and I was in your stead, I know who you are. You would have done better than what I'm doing for you now. Ah, a job for... Ah. Well, what can I say? What can I say? I can only say thank you very much. You're thank welcome. you. You're welcome. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. My friend, I think uh, I should be on my way. Well, ah, so soon? I should be on my way. Oh, well, um, so uh, that is it. Thank you for coming. It went well. Everything went well. When is this case coming up? Uh, 15th of next month, yes. 15th of next month? Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be around. That would be great. Hopefully, I'll be around. It would be wonderful to see you around. I will mm -hmm. be around for you. You should come around and watch your Delta. Surely, I will. I wish you. I wish this country would talk to America. Hey. Hello, uh, Udo? Udoka? Just you see. Uh, Udoka? Listen, let me tell you. That money you claim you don't have, when your mother dies, you will spend more and it will be on record that you killed your brother. Udoka, Udoka, I don't understand. Why are you sounding like this? As I speak to you now, I don't have even up to 5,000 Naira, I promise to, to send my junior brother so that they will use it and buy my mother's drugs. And you are sounding, my mother will die. Don't talk like that, please. Five what? 5,000 Naira now. Your mother is suffering from appendix. Eh? We borrowed 5,000 Naira to send her to the hospital. But that was not what I was told though. They said I should bring 5,000. Then maybe uh, uh, end of this year, then my mother can go uh, for operation. And we are saying that you. What exactly are you saying? Appendix and hymia are not the same. Any further delay could lead to her death. Don't stand like this. Don't just stand like this. Okay, fine, fine. Can I? Can Can you just go to my mother? Let me, I, I want to, right now, I want to speak some prophetic words to my mother. Let me know. In fact, I want to speak to my mother and let that sickness move away from my mother. It can be possible. Please. I will advise you to save your prayer and send her money. Meanwhile, I am going to where she is lying down. Send the money now. Delay could be dangerous. Give her a phone. Let me preach. I want to, let me, hello? Hello? Look, don't talk like this. Why are you sounding so negative? Let me speak to my mother now. I want to speak to my mother. Ah. Why are you sounding like this? Ah. Just do you know you're a fool. You're a fool, big fool. I've missed so many opportunities. Yes, I know. You see this opportunity? You see this one? I'm going to grab it. My mother, why now? Why now? Let it not be as if I'm crying. Now, wow. 
Where did you get such a wonderful wire? <laughs> my dear, you know, it's actually my mother that contracted her. Oh, mm -hmm. really? And according to her, she has never lost a case. You're there. <laughs> of course. She is as good as having won the case. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. <laughs> and it's never a crime for one to defend him or herself. <laughs> oh, yes. And that is exactly what Juliet did. <laughs> That's right. You know what, girl? Let's cheer. Yeah. We are definitely winning this. Of course, we are winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. What is it? Okay. Uh, my, I have a pressing issue. Something that is uh, pressing me that requires an urgent attention and caring. Something I need to solve very urgent. Listen, Charles, if it has anything to do with money, you have to go elsewhere because I am not giving you a dime till the end of this month. Ma, understand me. I'm not talking about huge amount of money. It's not a very big one, just five common, ordinary 5,000. I yeah. will be okay. I said, get out. Ma. Get lost and never return here. Get out. Auntie, help me and make her to understand why I need the money. I need to take care of myself with the money. Make her to understand. Are you okay? I'm, look at me. I'm very, very okay. I'm oh. okay. Look at you. Upon all the salary, I mean, the fat salary she has been paying you, you don't have common 5,000 naira in your account. Ordinary 5,000 naira. Charles, before I blink my eyes, leave my sitting room. Don't mind him, he has already lost his place in this place. Your days are numbered in this house, idiot. Now get out! Leave! My dear, let's not allow him spoil our mood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me have the chicken. What is this? Excuse me. Good, 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 good. I have information that you need to win this case. I say, let me meet you. I thought I saw you in court today. Of course now. Yes. <laughs> ah, you don't know me. Ah, my name is Charles. Charles Don. I am the uh, personal assistant to Anita, the woman in that court. And also, apart from that, I am the general security in charge of that house. You should know what I'm, I'm talking about. But let's go to the point to why I st I'm stopping you. I have information you need to win this case. Yes. You do? I, of course now, but you will give me something. I'm not giving it out for free. Oh. Okay, let's go to my office. Uh, Mba! Anything office, take me out of the office. I don't want to, do, to have anything to do with CC camera. My own Nakasha, as I, I come outside here, I want us to do it outside. You go, I go. Are you buying or you are not buying? Uh, okay. Let me see. Thank you. Mrs. Anita. You are the sweet, beautiful mother of Juliet, right? Yes. You were home when Mr. Amobi Michael pounced on your daughter to rape her, right? No. But I met him in a pool of blood. I see. So when you met him in a pool of blood, did you ask your daughter what happened? Yes, I asked her and she said, Mr. Michael tried to rape her and there was nobody at home. So in self-defense, she stabbed him to death. I see. So what did you do when you saw that Mr. Michael was at the point of death? I tried to stop the bleeding. I had to call my security. But before we could get the car and everything ready to the hospital, he died. And did the police come to the house to arrest your daughter? No. I quickly rushed to the police station. But when I got to the police station, I realized 
my daughter was there as well to make a report. Though she was detained. I was detained as well, but I was later granted bail. I see. That will be all for now, my lord. My lord. Mrs. Sanita, can you please tell this honorable court at what time you walked into the house and saw Mr. Michael lying in the pool of his own blood? I don't remember. Approximately six o'clock in the morning, seven, eight. I can't say. Perhaps I should help you refresh your memory. You are in Abuja for three days. Safety airline tells me that you were shortlisted on the passengers manifest on the flight from Abuja to here. And the flight arrived at the airport at about 15 minutes to eight on Monday morning. Yes. Allowing for some reasonable delay, you would have been at home at say 15 minutes to nine o'clock yes was it about the time you walked in the house and saw michael lying in the pool of his own blood yes uh, and you waited till 10 a.m in the morning before you thought of taking him to the hospital objection my lord objection overruled go ahead with cross examination counsel thank you my lord your driver, Charles, picked you up from the airport. Why was he not at home with you when you saw Michael lying in the pool of blood, struggling with death? I, I, Charles was... Go ahead, I am listening. I can't remember. Objection, my lord! The council is asking questions that can be prejudicial to my client. Objection, overruled. What's going on? Yeah? Charles has run away. With all his belongings. No. going to do now? I seriously don't know. Let me just call the person that introduced me to him. That was better. Hello? Yes, yes, we are fine. Where is Charles? Do you know his whereabouts? It's a lie. That guy is a big fool. He's an idiot. You cannot imagine this guy betrayed the trust that I have him and run away with all his belongings. Jesus Christ, we never marry. Why on earth will he do a thing like that? Tell Charles that if he steps his foot into this compound, I'm going to arrest him. Please, please, calm down. Calm down. See? I don't care where he's running to. But if I dare go to jail, eh? If I go to jail, I'm going to roast him and his entire family. Rubbish! Okay. Um. Dear customer, the MCN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. Sophia, please open the gate. What exactly is her problem? Eh? After all, the judge has not ruled the case against anyone yet. Eh? And she not, she's not the kind of person one can talk to. As long as she's angry, nobody can talk to her. I, I, I don't know. What is you? Is it, I, I need...
is that for? I know I should have waited for the last day when the judge would uh, give his judgment in our favor. Obviously, I would I should have waited, but um, I am overwhelmed by the performance of this wonderful young lady here. Hmm. It's been it's been it's been extremely fascinating watching her. So I said, let me have this little uh, get together, call some of our friends, uh, do a little thing so that uh, we can at least ease off. It's been tension, 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 caught, caught, caught all these days. So let's just have um, a little get together and let me say thank you. Thank you very much once again, our own indefatigable barrister Ebere. Well done, well done. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I couldn't have been a better <laughs> choice. And as you can see, as everybody can see, as clear as daylight, this case will end in our favor. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Thank sure. you, my dear. Thank you so very much, sir. Um, I really do appreciate. Um, I will give him my very best. You've been doing that. <laughs> All I need from everyone is prayers, sir. That's all I need. You get more than enough. Prayers. That's my daughter talking. My barrister daughter talking. Can I say she took? After ah! me? Can I say that she took after of you? Of course, yes. Wow. She took after me. Where there? Where there? Where there? She took where after where me. Where there? Real after me. Hey! Congratulations. I'm Obi. Congratulations. We're using a good barrister. She has never lost any case before. And I'm very hopeful she will not lose this one. Mm. Come on, cheer up. Eat your food. Please. Please. Do it for your mom. Manipulates you. Why? Don't you know the implications of what you've done? Or do you, do you think the judge, the judge will let you go scot free because you're a minor? No. Dad, no one manipulated me. I stabbed my kill because he wanted to rape me. Mom was angry with him and also traumatized. Before she could come out of shock and take him to the hospital, he had already bled to death. Juliet, are you, are you telling me the whole truth? Because I know your mother. Are you telling me the whole truth? Yes, Dad. Why will I want to spoil my own image just to protect another person's own? It's okay, my dear. It's okay. It's okay.
Are you a Christian, pagan, or a Muslim? Christian. I swear by the Almighty God. I swear by the Almighty God. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My Lord. Mr. Amob Yodumod. Yes. Will you please look at the accused? Do you know her? Of course I know her. She is Juliet Namde. But my lord, she's not the one that killed my son. It is that her useless mother there that killed my son. Yeah. This one. Look at, look at her eyes. Look, look at her eyes. Like a banjo. Mami Wata, Mami Wata mother. She's the one that killed my son. Mr. Amu. But my lord, this is the call of law. If you do not behave yourself, I shall charge you for contempt of court. As court business. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my lord. Counsel. My lord. You may continue with the cross examination. That is all for now, my lord. Mr. Amobi Odumodu. Yes, it's me. Can you please tell this honorable court why you asked your son to leave your house? Me? Objection, my lord. I do not see the relevance of this question. What exactly is your point, Cancer? I will be there in a minute, my lord. I am going somewhere. Objection, overruled. You may proceed with the cross examination. Thank you, my lord. Mr. Amobi, can you please tell us why you insulted your son in public? Insult? Why? Objection, my lord. I still do not see the relevance of this question. And the council is harassing the witness. Objection, overruled. Please continue with the cross-examination. Mr. Amobi, I ask you again. Why did you insult your son in public? There is no day I insulted my son in public. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Let me walk you down memory lane. The day you met your son at the fuel station. Tell us, did you spit on your son? Spit uh, as uh, in... Uh, an in, oh, stop the stuttering, as... Mr. Amobi. It's either a yes or a no. Did you spit on your son? Yes. I spat on him, yes. Hmm. If you were in my position, you would have done the same, or even worse. Spat on him. I see. Yes. <laughs> that will be all for now, Your Honor. This court shall reconvene in two hours for judgment. The court shall rise. God! Miss Juliet Namdi, did you stab Michael Amobi? Yes. Okay. Can you please tell this honorable court why you stopped him? I was peeling penaipu when he pounced on me to rape me. There was nobody in the house to stop him. I pleaded with him but he refused. I tried to free from his grip but he was too strong. I. I used the knife to stab him. I didn't know he was going to die. Otherwise, I would have allowed him to rape me. <clears throat> um, are you trying to say that he deliberately pounced on you to rape you? Yes. <sighs> that will be all for now, man.
My lord, at what time were you peeling pineapple? Objection, my lord. There is no way it is stated in Nigerian constitution that one cannot peel pineapple. Objection, Overruled. You may proceed with the cross-examination. Thank you. So you woke up in the morning and decided to start your day with pineapple? Objection, my lord. I am yet to understand what the council tends to achieve by harassing my client. Objection, Overruled. You may proceed with the cross-examination. My lord, since Miss Juliet Namdi claimed that she was responsible for the death of Mr. Michael Amobi, I just suggest that this court should sentence her to death. For there is no amount of compensation that will be given to Mr. Amobi or Dumodu that will be commensurate to the death of his son. Her death will be the only thing that will ease his pain, my lord. And that he will know that justice has been given to the deceased. That will be all for now, my lord. Barista Ken? My lord. Those of us who are fathers, mothers, young girls, will understand what this young girl is passing through. It is a violation of human right if this girl be sentenced to death simply because she was trying to defend herself. So I urge this honorable court to please tamper justice with mercy and do what is in the best interest of this child. I rest my case. This court shall reconvene in two hours for judgment. The court shall rise. God! My verdict. The accused, Juliet Nami, is found not guilty. By reason she was abused and assaulted by a rapist. I hereby order that she will no longer be living with her mother until she is of age to avoid further occurrences. This is my judgment. The court shall rise. I get money to do what I want to To do things I like I get money to do what I want to International border Grandma! Dudu, my baby How are you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, I'm fine but tired How was your outing? Ah, my outing was fine Hectic Traffic but I'm back home now. So how are you? I'm fine. That reminds me. I saw someone that looks exactly like your father today. Wow. The same height. In fact, everything the same. Really? Honestly. <sighs> that was a strong, striking resemblance. Anyway, have you heard from your mother today? Yes, I've spoken with her earlier and she's doing well. Oh, good to hear that. Um, I'm famished. Let me go prepare something for us to eat, okay? Okay. <coughs> See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Fine, and you? I'm fine, I'm fine. 
Daddy, where are you? It seems like you are walking. Ah, uh, I just got back from the farm. Just got to the house. Do you go to the farm every day under the hot sun? I don't work every day, my angel. I have time to rest. How is your grandma? She is fine. She said that she saw someone like you, both in height and poverty. No, daddy, you are not poor. Huh? Don't worry, daddy. Where would you like to live and what kind of business would you like to do? Ah, my angel, I'm working hard so I can save some money and I'll move back to the city. Huh? When I move back to the city, I will come and take you from your mom so you can live with me. Huh? And that is what is going to happen. My regards to my siblings and my stepmother. I will greet them for you. You two take care of yourself. Be the good girl you promised me to be. I love you, okay? Okay, Daddy. Bye. Okay, bye. Juju, what are you doing with money? Besides, why are you dressed as if you're going out? Yes, Grandma. I want to go to my mom's house. And besides, I need transport money. Why? What is the problem? Why do you want to see her? You can call her on phone. Juliet. Have you forgotten the court order? No, Grandma. I want to go so that I'll show her how much I love her. Besides, the court clearly said that I'm not supposed to live with her till I'm of age. And I'm not in any way breaking the laws. Hmm. Young barrister, make sure you come back early. Yes, Grandma, I will. Ah. Juliet. This minute, she talks like an adult. The next minute, she falls back to a child. How are you? How do you do? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So how are you doing today? It's been a while. But I've been thinking of asking you this question. How did you feel at that moment the judge declared your daughter innocent of the accusation? <laughs> you know, the person court is the people's court. Okay. And I felt I felt good. It's actually a victory, a win-win, especially for women who has been humiliated and assaulted. Yeah. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Yes. You can see the joy in your face. Ah, my darling. Hi. How are you, Juliet? How are you? Mm -hmm. well, what's going on? Meet Osi, Osi from Love FM. Wow. Yeah. Famous Osi, presenter of the drama titled The Last Judgment. Thank you. Yes. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Mom, can I see you briefly? <laughs> okay, um, excuse me five minutes. No problem. I'll be back. Take All your right. time. So, I'll see. How are you doing? Hi, it's our girl. You can see. So, why did you say you wanted to see me? Mom, I need 10 million naira. Are you insane? Mom, please don't do this to me. Then be reasonable. 10 million naira is not it to you. You have my details, right? But I'll send it to you in case you don't have it. You must be joking. Mom, if you walk out on me, I swear, I will let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Thank goodness a radio presenter is here. Baby, are you blackmailing me? What are you saying? Stop asking rhetorical questions. <laughs> ten million naira is a lot of money. It's neither here nor there. I need ten million naira. And I am not collecting anything less than that. <laughs> You're hallucinating, right? It's not over until I say it is. 
I need 10 million now. And if you fail to drink it before 24 hours, I swear I will. You will kill me? You will kill your mom? Jenna, what is wrong with you? How dare you speak to your mom in such tone? You need to stop this if it's a joke. Stop! I need 10 million now. And I'm going to send the details now. Please be fast and don't delay me. Bye. Juliet! Juliet! <laughs> yeah, I thank God for even the pain. Oh, see, I'm sorry, I have to leave. My mom is sick. Seriously? Yes, I need to leave now. What will happen to her? Don't rest her, okay? My foot, yes. Oh. Nothing will happen to her, okay? Sophia, we have to leave now. Thank you. See you next time. See you some other time. All right, I'll see you. Bye. I get money to do what I want to. To do this I like. I get money to do what I want to. Sugar border in the town, yeah, yeah. Money is good, though. Money is sweet, though. Can you imagine this girl sending me her account details? <laughs> wait, wait. Does this girl think she can get a dime from me with this cheap blackmail? Around nonsense. Hello. Good evening, Mom. Have you seen my account details? Come on, Juliet, enough of this nonsense. I don't have 10 million naira to give you. If you need pocket money, ask politely. Mom, why are you lying? You have 10 million naira. What do you need the money for? Mom, a laborer deserves his wages. Besides, the last time I checked, you haven't paid me for a job I did for you. <sighs> You're not getting a dime from me. Nonsense. <gasps> Look at this girl. Hello. She caught the call on me. Don't look happy. It's my mom. Please call her and talk to her. Because if she wants to act in a drama movie, I may won't take artists though. What happened? Grandma, please just call her and talk to her. Because nothing is free, even in free town. How do you mean? I don't want to talk too much today. But please just call her and talk to her. Or we'll go back to court and settle it. Court again? You and your mother will not kill me. Sophia, I am finished. Someone is using my daughter against me. How? She's asking for the sum of 10 million naira. Why? That's exactly why I told you someone is using her against me. But, Sophia, she has a lot of respect for you. So I want you to speak to her. I want you to tell her that she has a lot to gain from me than the person who is using her against me. What? This whole thing is not 
really actually clear from me. How could Juliet allow someone to use her against you? That's to show how terrible the world is. It's... What are you trying to do? You want to call her? Of course, yes. No, no. I, I don't think that's fine. I suggest you invite her over. Or better still, go to my mom's place. You would see her there. Okay. There's no problem about that. I will make her time to see her tomorrow. Is that okay by you? My baby, cheer up. Okay? Okay, Louis. That reminds me. How is James? Is he back from Abuja? James traveled to the States and he will be back next month for our wedding. Wow! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> of course! Give me five. That's good news. That's good news. Oh, don't you understand? The whole town is going to stand for Igwe Malaysia and his queen. My pretty. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, I wish I love him. I don't understand. Anita. You don't love him, and you want to marry him. You know, I feel like my chapter is closing where good men are. So I better grab this opportunity before I lose all the men at once. I disagree with you. Anita, 20 years to come, you are still radiating. Looking as beautiful as ever. Yes! Really? Of course, baby. Or have you totally forgotten who you are? No, you are a celebrity. A wonderful one indeed. And men, I mean, real men, we keep coming. They'll be tripping for you. You don't know. You. <laughs> I wish I had this figure of you. I look at you now. <laughs> I think you have a point there. <laughs> Oh girl, look, let me tell you, you are beautiful and rich. Men will keep falling into your hands. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, you mean fake men that want the smell of my ass and money? That are your ones. <laughs> you. Hello? Mom? And I ask again, what transpired between you and Juliet? Um, Mom, I would have to call you back. I'm, I'm with someone right now. Never mind, baby. I have to start going. I want to rush to the office, okay? Okay, um, you know, I'm really counting on you about what we discussed, please. I will definitely go there tomorrow to see her. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are friends for? <laughs> I trust you. I'm going. Yeah. I don't have strength. Please, I just wanted to cheer up. What is all this? Are you not seeing me up? Let me see you. Yeah. I'm going to see her and I know everything we are. I trust you. Take care. Bye. My mom even saying, Anita, you promised to call me back twice yesterday, but you never did. Mom, I'm sorry. I actually forgot. I wanted to call you back and some other thing. The bottom line is, I'm sorry. Hmm? Okay, that's fine. 
What transpired between you and Juliet? Nothing. Anita, don't lie to me. Mom, it's nothing transpired. What are you even saying? Okay. Juliet said that nothing is free, even in free town. What does she mean by that? Come on, Mom. That's a common palace. Don't tell me you've not heard that before. <laughs> she was obviously, maybe something she heard in cartoon. Don't you know Juliet again? Okay. She also said, if you refuse to settle her, that both of you will go back to court. Yes. So tell me, what exactly are you hiding from me? <laughs> yes, Mom. Um, I even forgot to tell you. James engaged me. Anita. Sophia, nobody is using me against my mother and nobody will use me against her. I love her and she knows it. Then, why are you giving her sleepless nights? My mother virtually turned me into a spare tire. She used me and dumped me, but I have woken up from my slumber. So it's either she gives me the 10 million naira or we wash our dead linens in public. Juliet, what do you mean by as in she used you and dumped you? How? How? A laborer deserves his wages. Please. Tell her to say to me. Tell me. Is your mother not taking good care of you? I mean, don't she pay your school fees? Those are her responsibilities. I am asking for a money for a job well done. Which job? My mother is aware of what I'm talking about. And please, I am not taking anything less than 10 million naira. <sighs> Junet, what are you doing with such amount of money? I mean, what do you want to do with that money? Auntie, it's only the dead that does not use money. But then, you are too small to ask of such amount of money. 10 million naira is too much for a, a, a girl like you. What, what, what do you want? Really? Yes. Even when I did for her a job worth more than 10 million naira. Okay. Come to think of it. Your father is the signatory to your account because he opened the account for you. Till you are 18, you cannot withdraw. So, Auntie Sophia, when we reach the bridge, we will find a way to cross it. Just tell her to say to me first. How did it go? Anita, Juliet said she did a job worth more than 10 million naira for you. Yes, and you did not pay her any damn. What job? How could I know? I should be asking you. But you should have asked her. Like I did not. Anyway. She said you should hasten up and settle her. Wait, wait. Before she runs out of patience. Wait, wait. 
Is this girl trying to blackmail me or what? I swear with my life, I'm going to kill her, nothing is going to happen. Aneka, friendship is all about trust and whatsoever. Yes. What job did your daughter do for you? House chores and nothing more. House chores. Yes. That's Grandma. Yes. A pregnant woman who gives birth to her baby in the market has nothing else to hide. And unfortunately, you are not pregnant. Neither did you give birth to a child in the market. I'm a murderer. I have no pride to protect. Please. Tell your daughter to say to me before we wash our dead linens in public. I don't understand. Say to you. How? I did for her a job which is worth more than 10 million naira. And what kind of a job is this? Rhetorical questions at this time will not solve anything. Just tell your daughter to give me my money before I run out of patience. Um, I think I'm lost here. Wait a minute. Are you trying to blackmail your mother? No. I'm only going to tell the world the truth. The aftermath is going to shock you. Too late. What is wrong with Juliet? Is this a dream or something? Wait a minute. Is there something I should know? It is obvious that Anita and her daughter are hiding something from me. Could it be that Anita is into illegal business? Yes. Something like illegal maternity home where young girls are paid heavily to produce babies for sale. My mother virtually turned me to a spectator. She used me and dumped me. It's either she gives me the 10 million naira or we watch our death linen in public. Could it be that Anita stabbed Michael to death and smartly used her smart daughter, a minor, to escape? <laughs> Story says that Michael wanted to rape Juliet and in a self-defense, she stabbed him to death. I 
I have told you times without number to avoid anything that would trigger her BP. You know, doctor, I've been doing that, but I don't know what exactly my daughter told her that triggered her BP. If not by the mercy of God today, your mother would have died because her BP was too high. God forbid. God will only forbid when the right things have been done at the right time. You are her only child. If you're happy, she's happy too. And if you're in trouble, she is in trouble as well. I don't understand. Avoid what will land you into trouble. Because your mother will not survive it. Hi, Mom. Good morning. Good morning, Juliet. How are you? I'm fine. And how is your grandma? She's in danger. She had high BP. This morning, I just finished talking with Dr. AZ to come and check on her. Oh, my goodness. Can you give her the phone? I want to speak to her. She's not with me right now. But wait. What did you say to her last night that triggered her BP? Nothing. She only asked what was happening between you and me. And I told her that I did a walk. Which is what more than 10 million for you. Are you insane? How could you tell her something like that knowing fully well that she's battling with BP? Do you want her to die? I didn't tell her to give me the money. Only told her to advise you. If I run out of patience. Listen, Juliet, should anything happen to my mom, I will hold you solely responsible. Is that a truth? Stupid girl. Can you imagine? Hello? Hello? She caught the call. She will soon hear from me. doing here? What are you doing here? What are you telling her? Nothing. I only told her to enter. My friend, room. come here. Wait. Okay. Are, are you waiting for her? Yes. Silly girl, come. What were you telling her? Foolish girl. Nothing. I only told her to enter the cake, but she refused. And I am going to her house to see her father. Why do you want to see her father? Why? Because I want to tell him the truth. I want to tell him that. What truth? Eh? See this girl, I regret giving birth to you. Do you know what? Resend the account number. I'm going to give you that money. Sure you want 10 million, I'm going to give it. Resend the account, foolish girl. Mom, you are not doing me a favor. You are only paying for a job I rendered to you. And so? You are meant to date with dignity and not by shouting at me as if you are quarreling. Eh? Juliet! Are you talking to your mother? Juliet! Juliet, come back here! Ah. What is this here? Can you imagine? Juliet! Sophia, can you imagine Juliet of yesterday? <laughs> she even walked out on me. What actually is the matter? I, don't, don't, don't worry, please, please. Let's go inside the car. She was even threatening to go and see her mom. Get inside the car, get inside the car. Sophia, I swear I'm going to deal with this girl. Let's go! Do this! Get inside the car. Let's go and meet her. Get inside the car. Let's go and meet her. Yes, let's go and meet her. Ah. Juliet! Oh, 
Daddy! I crash she gets better soon. Darling, you don't have to cry, okay? Don't cry, just pray for her. Eh? She'll be fine, just pray for her, okay? Okay, Daddy. Mom. My mom is here. Uh, don't touch her, okay? Just allow her to wake on her own. Just sit down. Or better still, go and get her something to eat. Because the moment she wakes up, she's going to be very hungry. The injection and the drugs I gave her is very strong. Just... Okay, doctor, that won't be a problem. I can drive up and get her something to eat. That will be fine. Well, better still, let me get something ready. Very well. I'll be back. Nana, what, what is the problem? You're not looking good at all. What happened? Uh, did you lose your job? Uh, were you attacked or robbed? Then why, why are you looking so, 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 so ghastly? The murderer and her mother just spoiled my day today. Don't tell me you went to Anita's house. To do what? No, Daddy, I didn't go to their house. The monster saw me at the bus stop and stopped to give me a lift with the keke she picked for a drug. Keke? Uh, you mean you entered keke with her? Daddy, a... no! Her mother arrived with her car and started talking nonsense. Is that all? Uh, that shouldn't be the reason you should look so, 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 so down. Huh? Those people, just avoid them. They are evil, they are evil. Huh? Daddy, they just reminded me of my late brother's death. And I know, I understand, I understand, but please do not allow anybody to put you in this kind of mood again because of your brother's death. Michael is gone and gone forever. Nothing can bring him back again. We have done everything that we can to get justice. But nothing has worked. But God Almighty, God Almighty, will give us justice. They will pay in due time. Mm. Mm? Mm, please, don't feel this bad again. Sorry, sorry, dear, sorry. Dear. Go in, go in, go and eat something. So that that will give you food, eh? Mm. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Anita. 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 Like I've even lost my appetite. I don't want to eat again. In fact, Ada, Ada, let's go and carry this thing. Well, she's getting better, as you can see, but I will still need her in the hospital so she can take a very good rest. She needs it. Okay. Mom, please, your life is very important to me. I think you really need to be admitted in the hospital. Doctor, please, I'm going to sit in the bed. You too. No. I prefer to stay in the house. Besides, Juliet has been trying and taking care of me. Wait, Juliet. That one that all she knows is just to run over the place. Doctor, I don't know, this keeps getting worse. Can't this BP be treated once and for all? Uh, no, but it can be managed. Managed? Well, she has done that over the years and it keeps getting worse. Well, um, this happens because it is either she's thinking too much or stressing herself or reading or like thinking about some horrific things. Any of these can actually trigger her baby. 
And perhaps she has not had enough rest lately. Well, that includes. Mom, can I see you briefly? Are you stupid? Can't you see my mom is sick? Or you think I health is something to joke with? Mommy, do you want to tell me that if you were to be another person, you won't have settled the person? I see you, fool. You're not seeing I'm busy and people are here. What is wrong with you? Mom, you called me a fool just because I... Let's go. What is wrong with you? I told you that I'm with the doctor. Mom, I thought you brought me out here to make the transfer. You let my mom is sick and she needs all the attention she's going to get. Huh? I'm going to transfer the money. Don't do this again. Hmm. Huh. She really thinks I'm joking. What is going on between you and your daughter? Mom, there is nothing going on between us. I think you need enough rest. So, what is this 10 million naira demand Juliet is threatening with? <laughs> oh my goodness, Mom, don't mind Juliet. You know, I told her that I'm the richest woman in the state. You can imagine what she said. I should prove it to her by transferring 10 million to her. <laughs> Juliet is so funny. Oh. Anita, I'm not a kid. Stop lying. Tell me the truth. Mom! Mom, I'm not lying. Of course, you know I love Juliet so much and she loves me too. There's nothing going on between us. Are you running any illegal maternity home? What does that mean? <clears throat> okay, do you have any place where you keep girls, pay them fast salaries for them to make babies? For sale. Oh my goodness. Mom, how, how can you even think of such? You know I'm a God-fearing woman and I've never done any legal business. Why are you saying this? You. I'm at Michael's father's house and soon we'll be going to the police station. You dare not do such a thing. I wish you have the mind to stop. <laughs> Listen, Juliet, Grandma has been rushed to the hospital. Her BP got high. Dr. Ize is not even in the hospital, he's busy. The only language I will understand is the credit alert of 10 million naira. Don't call again because I will not speak. Deaf ears. <laughs> Should I just give her the ten million? Mama. 
a reward for a good job is a good money. I'm ever ready for more jobs. Hello, sweet mother. I've gotten the alert. Rise before Mr. Amobi comes out, and I am yet to disclose my mission. From today till eternity, do not speak to me ever again. Is knocking. Oh, yeah? Good morning, sir. You little monster. What are you doing in my house? Sir, please, I'm here. How dare you come to my house after killing my son? How do you have the nerves to come to my house after killing my son? Sir, please calm down. I should calm down. Yes, sir. Now listen to me. If you don't leave this place right now, I'm going to do to you what you did to my son. You killed my son, and I'll get you killed, and I will not regret it. Sir, please, I just want to see you. You want to see me? You want to see me? Okay, hold on, you will see me now. Huh? Just wait there, you see me now. Monster. He's too angry. I'm going to look for his daughter. What, what is she? Oh, you're running, eh? You are running. Uh, why won't you come and see me? Why don't you come and see me? Mwanofia, after killing my son, you and your mother, a witch and a devil, in the same house. One of these days, one of these days, you people will get what you're looking for in my house. Nonsense. Want to see me? Get your master. I'm doing the right thing at the wrong time. Delay could be dangerous. My angel, you surprised me. How are you? I'm fine. I've missed you, Daddy. I've missed you too. How is your mom? How is your grandma? They're all fine. They're fine? Yeah. Okay, come. Get, get inside. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Juliet, it's getting late. She has never stayed outside like this before. I cannot waste my credit and call that girl. She can go to hell for all I care. Aneta, it has not gotten to that. Mom, what do you even know about that child? I know how you feel. I understand. I know that sometimes Juliet behaves like an adult. Next minute, she falls back to a minor behavior, which she is. She's just a replica of her father. But she shouldn't worry. I'm going to deal with her decisively. Rubbish. Listen, listen. Just calm down. Okay? Call her first. Please. Anita. No. What are you talking about, darling? Ten million naira. Ten million naira. Yes, Dad. I want you to fulfill your dreams. 
Go back to the city and start any business of your choice. Sweetheart, where, where did you get 10 million naira from? Like, who gave you 10 million naira? I did a good job and I was paid handsomely. You did a good job for whom? Who did you work for? What did you do? Dad, I am not a thief. This money is mine and I am giving it to you. Look, sweetheart. Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for wanting the best for your dad. But, darling, 10 million naira is not 10,000 naira. Eh? Who gave this money to you? Who gave it to you? Who, who is the politician? Who, who is the politician who wants to use my daughter for sacrifice? Just tell me. Tell me the truth. Who gave you this money? Brother, when are you coming back? Hey, question. Mm. Don't worry. First thing tomorrow morning, he's back. Mm? Yes. Juliet, my regards to your mom and everyone. <laughs> okay, mom. Thank you, mom. Uh, sweetheart, so you go back inside and <sighs> carry the baby inside before uh, she starts to feel sick. Okay. It's okay. Uh, All right, honey. Chili, take care of the house, okay? All right. Like Safe trip. Also. Yes. All right, darling. Okay. Safe trip. Come I love you. Love you, baby. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Yes. Bye, bread and coconut. Uh, yes. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, so bye. 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 To the bank to withdraw the money. No, darling. I'm going to the city to see your mother. But why are you going to the city? Or don't you trust me again? Darling, I trust you. But the bride price I paid for your mother's hand has not been returned. So she's still my wife. I can see her any day and any time. Okay? Okay, daddy. Alright. Let's uh, wait here for the Keke Marwa. You want us to walk on the road? Okay, let's wait, let's wait. You talk to me yourself? Yes. Oh, so you spy me. <laughs> You know, I knew she was working for you. That was why I actually gave her the 10 million naira. Welcome to the millionaire entities. But what surprises me is that you actually came back to say thank you. One more thing. I would advise you invest wisely. Anita, do you actually think you can play the fast one on me? I know everything. Everything that happened. Every single thing. And so? Do you even know the implication of what you've done? Do you? Money and Sarah all things. Like our local palaces. Onye Diego Nemi Fesolia. Not in this case, Anita. 
because this time around I'm going to speak and when I speak the whole world will know the truth <laughs> I will make sure that justice prevails in this case hmm. don't tell me you're still wallowing in a case so you want to return a whooping sum of 10 million naira to pursue a case that you are destined to lose. Daniel, I need you to be wise for once. Dad, I think she's right. Because there's no perfect man or woman on earth. Besides, I did this for us. Please go and enjoy your money. No, darling, no. There is something called value. There's something called principle. She's not. I don't need her money. God will bless me in his own time. Okay? Dad, as far as the bride price you paid hasn't been returned, she still remains your wife. Her wealth, your wealth. Darling, I did. I, I, I did, I did. If I were you, I would thank my daughter for making me a millionaire from zero naira. Mom, we went to grandma's place but she wasn't around. Yes, I had to bring her from my house to this place because of her health. Well, I was actually on my way to somewhere. So you have to get into the kitchen, get yourself something to eat for yourself and your dad. Bye. Dad, don't be angry. Besides, you can blame me. I did this for us. Mom always told me about my poor and jobless father. And I prayed that one day the story would change. God has done this for us. No, dear. It's even more complicated than you will ever understand. So sorry you had to be in this position to do things that you should never have to do. But everything will be okay. Alright? Alright, Daddy. Everything will be fine. Thank you. <laughs> She'll be here. Don't worry. I know Please don't start. Ah! Don't start. <laughs> Besides, where is your hat? I hope you're not going like this. No. No, and you're here. I will not wait for you. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. Oh, Mom. How are you, son? I'm fine, man. And who was keeping them now? I've been waiting for them since. She's almost ready. I, I've been in the church now. Go and see for yourself. Oh, I need to. Ah, women. Rub this one, this. Ah. Anyway, I'm one of them, but <laughs> that's my gender. It's fine. <laughs> People want to look great. Um, yeah, they are coming. Thank you. Hats, right? so Anita! It's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. It took you ages. Oh yeah. You look beautiful. Thank you. 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 Miss Anita, you're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Michael Amobi. And whatever you say now, 
You abuse her against the court of law. What? I don't know. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? Mommy, please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry about what? <laughs> Mommy, don't, don't let them take me away. Please forgive me. Okay, what? Listen, calm down. You're sorry about what? Uh, what are you sorry about? Come on. Oh, Mom. <laughs> yes. Good, please, well. You're doing well. Yeah. Hi, Zon. Okay. I win. Wow. My angel, you won. My baby. You know you're my angel. It's only my dad that tells me that. Your dad? So what's wrong now that I called you my angel? You know you're my little angel. My little angel. Nothing. Okay. Where's my mom? She's outside. She's waiting for me. We're about to go out. So tell me, what would you like me to get for you? Mm. Ice cream, shawarma, burger, biscuits, anyone? Just Ice cream. Ice cream. Is it vanilla or chocolate or anyone? Milo. Oh! Okay, I'll get it for you. I'll get something else for you to spread. Michael! What? What is the meaning of this? There is nothing. Ha. Huh. That's why my mom is shouting. She okay? You. Why was my daughter sitting on your laps? Am I not enough for you? Michael, what is wrong with you? Anita, please calm down. Calm down, I don't have anything with your daughter. I'm don't not even lie to me. Don't give me that shit. I see the way you look at her. I see the way you talk to her. I hate you. You disgust me. Get out. Oh, 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 Mommy, oh, please. Oh, 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 oh. Mommy, don't let them take me away, please. Oh. Where is that, please? Stop, so please, cough her. Hold this. Oh. Hey, you're under arrest. Take, 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 it, take it easy. Please. Take, take it easy on my client. You don't have to my hand. Please. Listen, 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 listen. Calm down. I'm Mom. coming to the hey. station right now. Okay? <laughs> take it easy. Mom. Honey, please come, come back. back. Come down. Honey. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Honey, come back. Hey, 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 hey. It. Mom. Oh, yeah. Just Move it, down. Down. Please. please. I am coming to the station right now. I'm counting hey, hey, on hey. you, please. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Move it. Take it easy on her. <laughs> Just calm down, okay? I'll be with you. Move it. And you, are you sure the DPO is aware of this arrest? I don't blame you. Don't my hand go hard, don't! I, I need to don't worry, okay? I'll be, I'll, I'll be with you. You need to go yes. and rest now. Yes. Ma'am, 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 ma ma you need to go and rest, ma'am. Please, ma'am, please. Ma but I have to go. Let's take her inside. Let's Open. Let's go. Please, please. Ma'am, The truth can set you free from dangers of life. Truth can set you free from death. Oh, oh. Just say the truth.